Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook, National Anime Inheritance. I choose Six Paths Obito. Chapter 61. Although he said harsh words, Mingay did not attack immediately. He turned the watch on his wrist, and a tube of yellow injection suddenly fell into his hand. His watch was a space prop with microspace storage technology installed. The effect of microspace storage technology is similar to that of the system space in the Qin Dynasty, but it is much lower end. This is a storage technology developed by researchers from Tiangong Academy based on the principle of the four-dimensional space pocket in the Doraemon world. The essence is to set up a tiny alien space to store the set storage. But the volume of the stored items cannot be too large, and the total space is only as big as a travel backpack. More importantly, the alien space developed by microspace storage technology has the same time flow rate as Blue Star, so it cannot store food for a long time. The Sky Academy installed microspace storage technology on watches, bracelets, and rings, and was immediately sought after by many wealthy people. But even the worst microspace props are worth 10 million Kyushu coins. The microspace watch worn by Da Flamingo is worth 50 million Kyushu coins. Taking out the needle from the space watch, Ming Jie stabbed himself. The yellow liquid quickly entered his blood along the needle tube. KW74 Qin Shi frowned when he saw the letters on the medicine tube. KW74 is a human body enhancer that appeared in the comic, Corpse Brother. After taking it, it can greatly improve the reaction speed and strength of the human body. But the medicine works by engulfing and replacing the user's original cells. So it will be very painful during use, and even a resilient strong man can only support it for half an hour. Hiss, it hurts so much, it hurts so much. Ming Jie panted heavily, and beads of sweat kept rolling down his forehead. But the look he gave Qin Shi was even more resentful. Boy, this is all to deal with you, let's start, the second round. Ming Jie roared and stretched out his hands suddenly. The four fingers of both hands were retracted, but the index finger was extended. A thin thread shot out from the tip of his index finger, like a high-speed bullet. This is Da Flamingo's basic skill in the One Piece world, bullet line. Binding Path 39, Round Gate Fan. Chin Shi chanted quickly, and an elliptical light curtain barrier appeared in front of him. Bang, the bullet line shot at the round gate fan, smashing out a crack. This power, I'm afraid it can even penetrate a person's bones. Chin Shi felt the power of the bullet line. KW74, greatly enhanced his inherited power. One strike failed to defeat the enemy, Ming Jie endured the side effects of the drug. One is not enough, how about this? He tapped his index finger. The bullet lines shot out one after another, leaving almost no gaps. This is a skill that I can only use with potions. I'm called, bullet line gatling. Bang bang bang. The bullet lines shot out in succession, smashing one crack after another on the round gate fan. Finally, there was a crash. The round gate finally couldn't bear the weight and shattered like a mirror. You finally couldn't hold on, ha ha. Ming Jie laughed and continued to shoot the bullets. But what greeted him was a huge fireball. Fire escape, great fireball technique. Chin Shi puffed up his cheeks, and flames spewed out of his mouth. The bullets were also silk threads, and they were immediately burned to ashes under the burning of the flames. It turned out to be like this. Seeing this, Ming Jie stopped shooting bullets and ran forward instead. With the blessing of the potion, his speed increased by nearly two times in a short period of time. For a moment, his speed was even faster than Qin Shi who used the instant body technique. Dodging the attack of the great fireball sideways, Ming Jie kicked directly at Qin Shi's waist and abdomen. His toes created eight nearly transparent thin silk threads. The skill of the string string fruit, foot shaving string, a straight kick with sharp silk threads. It is similar to the kicking version of the five color string, but more powerful. In the anime, Da Flamingo's foot shaving string can split a building in two. Even if the protagonist's straw hat uses armament hockey, he cannot completely defend against it. And with the power of the potion, Mingi's foot shaving string also has similar power. He is confident that as long as this kick hits, the cat faced boy in front of him will definitely die. Boom, stones flew, with unparalleled power. Mingi's toes landed on the ground, and a big hole was kicked out of the ground. But he gritted his teeth, his face became more irritable. 
his kick did not hit the enemy, and at the last moment, his enemy disappeared again. Kid, hiding around like a stinky rat. He looked around he looked for Chin Shi, but he couldn't find him after looking around. Suddenly, a pair of hands stretched out from the soil and grabbed his ankle. He grabbed Ming Zhe and threw him into the soil. Earth escape, earth dragon hiding technique. Chin Shi used this move to sneak into the ground and avoid the opponent's attack. Earth escape, heart beheading technique. Use this move to grab the enemy into the soil and bind them. A set of combos flowed smoothly. Ha, Chin Shi crawled out of the soil on the side and patted the dust on his hands. It's a really dangerous kick. If I didn't dodge it, I'm afraid I would be eliminated. He looked at Ming Zhe buried in the soil. You're still much quieter buried in the soil, and your potion shouldn't last long. Ming Ji's head emerged from the ground, staring at Qin Shi standing in front of him, and suddenly grinned. Ha ha, you think you won. Ha ha, he laughed. Dozens of silk threads appeared in the air. These silk threads fell from the sky like a meteor shower and stuck to Qin Shi's limbs. Qin Shi suddenly felt his limbs stiff and could no longer control his body movements. His body was hung up like an insect caught in a spider web. You didn't expect it, cat-faced boy. Ming Zhe buried himself in the soil and spat viciously in front of him. In the previous bouncing line, including the close-range attack when I ran over, I was hiding some silk threads in the air. This is a skill that I can only use briefly under the effect of potions. The advanced version of parasitic line, Meteor. He stared into Qin Shi's eyes. The number of these threads can even control a whale, and now they are all used on you. Boy, from now on, you are my doll, and I want you to be dead. Ming Zhe bit his teeth and actually controlled the threads by biting his mouth. Let me see what kind of face you have under your ugly mask. I will use the threads to cut your face bit by bit, ha ha ha. He grinned, and suddenly there was a chuckle in his ear. What are you laughing at? Ming Ji's face was hideous, and the pain caused by the potion made his face almost distorted. I ask you, brat, what are you laughing at? The laughter came from Qin Shi, who was tied up and hung in the air. The contemptuous laughter came out from his cat-faced mask again. Didn't you hear me, S-class idiot? I said, checkmate. What are you talking about, little brat? Before Ming Zhe finished his words, a deafening roar suddenly sounded from the soil that buried his body. A huge explosion shot up into the sky. Ming Ji's roar suddenly stopped. The soil was lifted into the air, and then fell like a waterfall. And along with the soil. And Ming Ji's body, which had been broken into countless pieces. The huge explosion killed him instantly. He had no time to use the string string fruit to control his injuries. After a while, his fragmented body disappeared and turned into dust. S-level inheritor, Ming Zhe, eliminated. Without the operator, countless parasitic threads in the air were like catkins that had been detached from branches. Blowing in the wind, and then falling down powerlessly. Qin Shi took out his Zanpakudo and cut off all the silk threads wrapped around himself. The huge explosion was the effect of his new ninjutsu, fire style, explosive flame formation. While resisting Ming Ji's bullet line, Qin Shi had already buried the detonating talisman in the ground. When the opponent attacked at close range, he used the earth style, earth dragon hidden technique to sneak into the soil and avoid the opponent's kick. Then he used the earth style, heart decapitation technique to pull Ming Zhe into the soil where the detonating talisman had been buried in advance. To show respect for the S-level inheritor, Qin Shi even thoughtfully put ten detonating talismans in the soil. You know, one detonating talisman is enough to seriously injure someone. Once ten detonating talismans hit the target, they can blow the opponent to pieces. Ever since he found Ming Zhe hiding in the water and intending to trap him. He never intended to let him go. Especially when the other party wantonly killed his female companion in front of him. It aroused Qin Shi's disgust. Haven't you heard Kakashi say that people who don't know how to face their companions are the lowest waste? After complaining righteously, Qin Shi began to concentrate on cleaning up the remaining parasitic threads on his body. Suddenly, there was a, ding, sound. The system's prompt sound suddenly sounded. It is detected that the host defeated the S-level inheritor Ming Zhe. The other party died in the secret realm, but the real body did not die. It is judged false kill. 
You gain experience points plus 500 and skill points 2 points. Expanding the reward options for kill, pseudo kill, reduced reward. You can choose a reward from the following options. 01. String String Fruit Skill, Shadow Rider String. One of Mingi's signature skills, creating a doll made of strings, which can use the original ability and skills, and swap positions with itself when it is fatally injured. Please note that since you are not a String String Fruit user, the skill cannot be further developed after learning, and can only be upgraded through skill points. Please note that since you are not a string string fruit user, using the skill will consume more spiritual power. O2. String string fruit skill, parasitic string. One of Mingi's signature skills, sticking almost transparent silk threads to the target's body, which can control the target's behavior. Please note that since you are not a string string fruit user, the skill cannot be further developed after learning, and can only be upgraded through skill points. Please note that since you are not a string string fruit user, using the skill will consume more spiritual power. O3. Spiritual Power Gift. If you kill, pseudo kill, the reward is reduced S level inheritor Ming Zhe, you can permanently obtain 1 30th of his spiritual power. Please make a choice within 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28. Hum, Qin Shi was stunned for a moment. He originally thought that he was in a special secret realm. Even if he killed the enemy, the enemy would not really die, and even the main body would not be injured at all. There would be no system killing reward. But the system actually has the so-called, pseudo-kill, reward, although it is worse than the real killing reward. But it is also considerable. Tisk tisk, killing people, and then stealing their skills after killing them. Your system is really, awesome. I like it. Chin Shi praised. System, let me ask another question. In the Misty Forest, can I get a pseudo-kill reward if I kill any enemy? Chin Shi asked quickly. This is related to his next action goal. He already has a plan in mind. Originally, he was just going to kill monsters and get cards. If he could really get the pseudo-kill reward, he wouldn't mind being a forest killer. And according to the principle, this forest will be open to students in the future. And as a training place for students to compete, after all, even if you die in battle here, you won't really die. It's an excellent training ground. In this way, I can fight with others repeatedly, and then keep getting rewards from him. This is a score-brushing bug. Thinking of the beautiful life in the future, Chin Shi's eyes were full of yearning. Opening square bracket dot dot dot. You are dreaming. The system, which was silent for a moment, gave a reminder. Pseudo kill rewards are only useful for S level inheritors, and it can only be effective once per person. This is already the biggest benefit that this system has fought for you. If you are greedy, you will be blamed. In addition, you have 10 seconds left to choose. After 10 seconds, this reward will automatically disappear. 10, 9, 8. I know how to get stuck with the system bug of Yingming Wudi Super Handsome. Putting away the idea of taking advantage, Chin Shi carefully looked at the three options in front of him. First, directly exclude option 3. The total amount of spiritual power of the inheritor is much less than that of the monster. Especially the reward is 1 30th of the total amount of spiritual power of Minge, the weak chicken. How much can it be, one stuck? No need to think about it, just exclude it directly. As for option 2 and option 3, Chin Shi was a little embarrassed. The replacement effect of riding the shadow line is really a life-saving skill, but it's a pity that I already have the shadow clone technique. It belongs to a repeated ability. Make up his mind, Chin Shi chose option 2. The control of the parasitic line is both hidden and rogue. It's just that this skill is much weaker than the powerful enemy control ability. But in some special cases, this skill has another way of use. For example, it has an effect similar to the golden binding technique, which makes the enemy's body stiff at the moment of being controlled. It can be further developed in the future. And it seems that there are many quite evil uses, such as. In short, it is really a skill with potential. Choose the reward and directly add points to the reward skill. Chin Shi opened the attribute interface with satisfaction. The following is the hydrological time. Host, Chin Shi. Inheritance name, Six Paths Obito, Hokage type. Inheritance level. LV6 900 2 thousandths. Current spiritual power value. 19 cards. Remaining skill points. 5. 
Unlocked Bloodline Limit, Double Magatama Sharingan, Unlocked Skills, Taijutsu LV2, Throwing Technique LV2, Three Body Technique LV2, Windmill Three Swords LV2, Great Fireball Technique LV2, Phoenix Fire Technique LV2, Shadow Clone Technique LV2, Suchiyu Hidden Technique LV2, Heart Decapitation Technique LV2, Chidori LV2, Three Day Moon Dance LV2, Fire Style, Explosive Flame Array LV2. Sharingan Copy Skills 31 Red Cannons of Hado LV2 26 Curved Lights of Binding LV2 39 Circular Gate Fans of Binding LV2 Instant Body Technique LV2 Equipment Initial Form Zanpakuda Shallow Strike 990 Explosive Talismans Special Cuisine Mond Potato Pancake Unlocked System Function Space Storage 6 Cubic Meters Unlocked Illusion Torture Technique LV2, Effect Evolves with Sharingan Evolution. Kill Obtained Skills, String String Fruit Ability, Parasitic String LV2. Close the System Interface, Chin Shi walked towards the mud pit where the explosion occurred. The entire ground had sunk one meter deep. In the center of the pit, there were several cards. This was the plant card that Ming Zhe obtained by killing mutant plants in the forest before. Even with such a strong explosion, the card was not damaged at all. Are these cards indestructible in this secret realm? Chin Shi walked over and picked up the card. Asterisk 2, asterisk 3, asterisk 3. This, this is. Chin Shi picked up one of the cards, put it in the sun, squinted his eyes and looked at it carefully. There was a bag of snacks on the card, with an old man on the bag and three words written next to it. Jinkala. The English below was Jinkala. Oh. This is a special item, Jinkala. Chin Shi looked at the old man head card in his hand with surprise. In, Plants vs. Zombies, Jin Kayla is a special item that can only be obtained through the turntable game or in a specific level. As for the power, it is quite nice. It does not belong to mutant plants, but can be attached to mutant plants, greatly enhancing the explosive power of plants. The speed of shooting bullets by strengthening a pea shooter with a Jin Kayla can be doubled. If you use two Jin Kayla to strengthen it, it can't be called a pea shooter, it must be called a cereal shooter. If you use two Jin Kayla to strengthen the corn pitcher, what is thrown out is not tiny corn kernels, but a terrifying corn cannon. And the Jin Kayla card in Ming Ji's hand is not one, but eight. Chin Shi took a breath. Did this guy find a gold mine? Thinking of his battle with Ming Zhe, Chin Shi was a little relieved. Fortunately, Plant cards can only be used at night. Otherwise, the opponent will use the plants blessed by Jin Kayla to deal with him. Although he will not lose, he will also be under great pressure. But the looting work is not over yet. Chin Shi swam to the center of the river on the lotus leaf again. There are several cards floating on the river. This is the card of the girl in the red school uniform who is partnered with Ming Zhe. Asterisk 1, Asterisk 3. No wonder there has always been a type of corpse-picking novel in the best-selling online novels I read in my previous life. He looked at the cards in his hand and sighed. Picking up corpses is really fun. After putting away the cards, Chin Shi did not leave immediately. He took out the Fuma Shuriken and tied a rope to the round hole in the center. Then he threw it. The Fuma Shuriken whistled and plunged into the water. Cut off all the water plants that had previously bound the girl. After a while, Five cards floated on the water. I one quarter entangled seaweed. Aquatic plants that can pull creatures close to it into the water. I one quarter. I one quarter note. This card can only be used in the water. I one quarter. Pick up the card. Chin Shi paddled the lotus leaves again and cut off the lotus leaves on the river one by one. Obtain the card asterisk four. I one quarter water lily. Aquatic plants that can only be placed on the water surface can carry objects or plant plants. I one quarter. Limited time mission. Plant harvester. Completion. 12 thirtieths. Looking at the task progress prompt from the system, Chin Shi nodded with satisfaction. A pit picking experience, but I discovered the system's pseudo killing reward mechanism. Chin Shi lowered his head and thought. There are only 9s level students in total, and there are still 8 people after Minge is eliminated. He swallowed his saliva thinking about the appearance of the 8 people. This is a huge reward. Especially when killing people in the secret realm, the other party will not really die. 
At most, they were eliminated too early, and their scores were too low, which made them lose face as S-level students. But it was also caused by their poor academic performance, right? The problem is, how can I find their location? Chin Shi nodded. The whole forest is incredibly large, with various terrains emerging one after another, and thick fog blocking the view. If you want to find a specific person, the difficulty is no different from panning for gold in the sand. Ding, the host's need to become stronger is detected, and the god-level inheritance system is activated. The system prompt sounded. In the secret realm, your system skill, eye of inheritance, ability will be strengthened, and you can choose one of the following functions to activate it. 01. Turn on the function of searching for boss monsters in the secret realm. Since there are no boss monsters in this secret realm for the time being, this function is temporarily unavailable. 02. Enable the search function for any level of monsters in the secret realm, search range, level 1 to 7. There are no monsters in the current secret realm, the mutant plants are trial creatures, not a demon beast, this function cannot be activated. 03. Enable the small map mode of some secret realms, and the small map contains the secret realm clearance route. This function can only be used when the secret realm belongs to the maze type or the level breaking type. This secret realm belongs to the survival type, and this function cannot be enabled. 04. Enable the search function for S level and above inheritors in the secret realm. Current optional function 04. Host, do you want to use it? Hearing the prompt sound, Chin Shi was stunned at first, and then he was overjoyed. Son of 10,000 worlds, Eye of Inheritance and Six Paths Obito Inheritance. These three items are the gifts in the novice gift package when the system is just awakened. Son of 10,000 worlds. The unique physique allows him to use all the abilities of the other world. This is also the basis for him to learn the ghost way through the Sharingan and obtain the ability and skills of the string fruit through pseudo-killing. Six Paths Obito Inheritance. Through upgrades and missions, he was given various ninjutsu from the Naruto world. Combined with the unique Sharingan bloodline, his strength has been rapidly improved. The later double Kamui Manjki Sharingan and Six Paths mode give him unlimited growth potential. Only Inheritance I. Although the inheritance of some enemies and monsters can be seen, the other party must have strong malice towards him. It must also be within a certain range and have many restrictions. Let him feel that this system ability is completely incomparable to the gifts of the other two systems. After all this time, it turns out that the real use of this skill is in the secret realm. The secret realm is a magical area that appears on the blue planet after the gray fog. There are many magical areas in different world planes. For example, in the One Piece world, the Impel Down city is full of dangerous prisoners. For example, in the Naruto world, the real waterfall of the Hidden Cloud Village can cultivate spiritual power. Another example is the barren land where Hollows and Arankars live in the world of Death God, Hueco Mundo. These magical areas of the other world appear in various places on this planet because of the effect of the Grey Fog. People call these magical areas that descended on the Blue Planet Secret Realms. Secret Realms are synonymous with danger and opportunity. Special treasures, universal elixirs, powerful skills. Secret realms have everything, but corresponding to the opportunity is the high risk of passing through the secret realm. After all, the mazes and mechanisms of the other world style and the strange monsters in the secret realm can kill intruders. The Eye of Inheritance can not only search for monsters in the secret realm, but also display the small map of some types of secret realms. Even entering the secret realm and competing with other high inheritance humans can be shown to you clearly. It's like turning on the full map mode. Greatly increase the chance of passing the secret realm. However, although the function of the eye of inheritance is powerful, it can't play a big role in this kind of survival secret realm where training is the main focus. Chin she thought, but it can help him find the location of other S-level inheritors with the pseudo-kill reward. Turn on function 4. He muttered in his heart. The Eye of Inheritance is activated, and the special ability in the Secret Realm is activated, Function 4. In an instant, Chin Shi felt as if a map was slowly unfolding in his mind. On the map, eight light spots were marked. That was the location of the other eight S-level inheritors. The host can choose one of them, and the Eye of Inheritance will provide a more accurate navigation function. According to the system's prompts, 
Chin Shi chose the light spot closest to him. An arrow suddenly appeared in his eyes. The arrow pointed to the direction he was going to the light spot. Next to the arrow, there was a line of small words, marking the distance between the two. What a thoughtful service, Chin Shi quickly walked in the direction indicated by the arrow. An hour later, after killing five nuts, three double pea shooters, and being almost blown away by two clovers, Chin Shi finally came to the vicinity of the light spot. In front of him was a small desert. Dozens of cacti stood in the desert, and a student in a blue school uniform was attacking the cacti. The red-haired boy carrying a gourd. Chin Shi looked at the boy in the desert from a distance. He remembered this boy. He had participated in a challenge on the boat of the chef in the mountains. His roommate Pei Buell introduced him to him at that time. This boy was called Ai Luo, and his parents were bounty hunters, and they were the best. If the demon hunter exists to fight against demon beasts, then the bounty hunter has no taboos. Assassination of the employer's enemies, handling of strange events. As long as you can pay, they can help you do it. Even the Kyushu government often hired them to clean up demon beasts outside the demon suppressing pass. Ai Luo's parents are the gold medal hunters in this industry. He has been exposed to fighting skills since he was a child, and has achieved some success. The sand gathered around Ai Luo and rushed towards the cactus. Ninjutsu, sand waterfall funeral. The sand wrapped the cactus and then squeezed it a little bit. The strong pressure completely squeezed the cactus. The sand came out of the gourd. Chin Shi stood behind the bushes, watching the opponent's battle process, with a puzzled look on his face. It stands to reason that Gara in the anime also used a gourd to hold sand, but the space storage technology in this world is so advanced. In order to store weapons more conveniently, almost all the rich people in this world use various storage devices. For example, Ming Zhe, who was just killed, his watch is a space storage device. But this boy, according to Lao Lu's introduction, his parents are also rich, why is he still using a gourd to hold sand? The huge gourd will increase the burden on the user, especially when performing physical skills. It seems that he already knows, the role-playing method. Chin Shi carefully looked at the opponent in front of him. His figure and his cold temperament. They are very similar to Gara in the Naruto world. Even on his forehead, there is a, love, character engraved. Role-playing method, this method that the academy has not yet begun to teach. Before those second-generation children have obtained the inheritance, they have been taught this knowledge by their parents. Once the inheritance is obtained, it can be developed to the maximum extent. Children of such powerful families not only have a high degree of inheritance, but also have long mastered the method of improving the degree of inheritance. It is really difficult for ordinary people to compare with them. But they are unlucky to meet me, a diligent and hardworking excellent student who relies entirely on himself. Chin Shi put on the cat face mask, pushed aside the grass, and walked out. In the small desert, Gara's inheritor Ai Luo picked up the card on the ground. Then turned to Chin Shi who was walking towards him. When he saw the red school uniform on Chin Shi, he frowned and looked contemptuous. Stop and explain your intentions, otherwise, die. Ai Luo said, his cold face without any emotion. The sand slowly rose at his feet, like a venomous snake standing up. Chin Shi slowly took out the long knife behind him. He held the hilt backwards and said nothing. His actions had already said everything. Fight, it's ridiculous. You dare to challenge me with your B-level inheritance. I will not even give you a chance to admit defeat. Ai Luo said coldly. He held his hands with his palms facing upward, he lifted his hands. The sand around him began to gather around him. You have no chance of winning, and what's more, this is the desert, my home turf. Here, my strength can be doubled. His eyes flashed, and his hands changed from palms to fists. Ninjutsu, sand shuriken. The fine sand formed a wind demon shuriken, whistling towards Chin Shi. Zhang, Chin Shi's eyes widened, under the cat mask. His eyes changed, and two Magatama appeared above his eye sockets. Double Magatama Sharingan, open. Chin Shi quickly swung the shallow long sword in his hand. Dang dang dang. In just two seconds, Chin Shi had swung out ten swords at high speed. All the shurikens that shot over were chopped by his long sword, and turned into scattered fine sand again. Student I, please be more serious and use some useful moves. After all, you don't have much time. 
If you don't use your ultimate move quickly, you won't have a chance to use it. Qin Shi waved his long sword and shook off the sand on the blade. In this battle, we will not only compete for superiority, but also decide life and death. Feeling the fighting spirit and killing intention in Qin Shi, Ai Luo stared at him closely. Although the fight just now was short, but he realized that the other party had super fast reaction and superb physical skills. It seems that you are disguised as a student of Osiris Red, wanting me to be careless and then sneak attack me. But you won't have such an opportunity. I will use my full strength in the next attack. Ai Luo's cold face was full of caution. He knew in his heart that the challenger on the opposite side was very strong. If he didn't use his full strength again, he might die. After making such a judgment, he no longer dared to have any reservations. Ai Luo gritted his teeth, raised his hands, and more sand was controlled by him. He consumed his spiritual power crazily. In addition to the sand in his gourd, he also mobilized the sand on the ground. The fine sand spun around him, surrounded him, and wrapped him. As this, a sand shield. Qin Shi looked at the flying sand in front of him. Sand shield, Gara's powerful defensive skill in Naruto. The sand that wrapped him gradually gathered into a ball shape. Of course, because Ilo was just imitating Gara's image, the sand in the gourd did not have the blessing of maternal love. So compared with the sand shield in Naruto, the defense is still much weaker. But it also has a hardness comparable to that of a steel plate. The sand ball slowly formed, and an eyeball emerged from the outside of the sand shield. This is the ninjutsu, third eye. Use sand to turn into an eye to scout somewhere else, and then transmit the visual image to the eye that the main body is holding with his hand. This is the way Ilo uses to observe the battlefield in the sand shield state. Obviously, the opponent intends to defend first and then attack. It's a good idea, but a little silly. Can I watch you complete the ninjutsu? Chin Shi snorted. His left hand grasped his right wrist. In an instant, lightning flashed and birds chirped. Thunder escaped. Chidori, as that, an epic skill. Looking at the flashing lightning between Chin Shi's palms, Ai Luo stepped back unconsciously. His icy face finally showed a panic expression. In battle, before thinking about victory, think about defeat first. This is the most important admonition given to Ai Luo by his parents, who are gold medal bounty hunters. Therefore, after judging that Chin Shi has superb physical skills, he immediately chose to launch the Sand Shield Ninjutsu. Sand Shield, a defensive ninjutsu that Gara spontaneously activated because of maternal love in the anime. As the successor of Gara, Ai Luo can also actively perform it to form a high defense sand shield. But there is an obvious disadvantage, which is the activation time. This ninjutsu takes a full 10 seconds from Ai Luo's seal to the final formation of a complete sand shield. For this shortcoming, Ai Luo naturally has his own remedy. Ninjutsu, Sand Shiu. Ai Luo gritted his teeth and roared in a low voice. Sand rain, concentrates sand on the enemy's head, and while raining sand, uses the sand on the ground to bind the enemy's feet, and can also turn into sand bullets to attack. It is a ninjutsu that combines control and attack. Ai Luo intends to use this ninjutsu to limit Chin Shi's attack and create time for his sand shield ninjutsu. However, he miscalculated. Lightning roars. Chin Shi clenched his right wrist, lowered his body, and rushed over at high speed. One of the main functions of Chidori Ninjutsu is cell activity. The user can temporarily increase the speed of thrusting with the activity bonus of Thunder Release Ninjutsu. Sand fell from Chin Shi's head and turned into hard sand bullets. But under Chin Shi's high-speed thrust, each sand bullet fell behind him. In just two seconds, the distance between the two has been reduced by one-third. So fast. Ai Luo waved his hand hurriedly. In front of Chin Shi's thrust, in a sandy area. A sandbag gradually swelled up. Chidori's thrust speed was extremely fast, so once the direction was chosen, it was difficult to change it midway. This is the desert, my home ground. Even if you are an S-level inheritance, you can't beat me. Ai Luo roared, raising his right hand high. Ninjutsu, sand hand. As he moved, a pair of hands made of sand appeared in the sand. The sand hand grabbed Chin Shi's ankle. Just when the sand hand was about to grab the enemy's ankle, Chin Shi's speed increased further, and even left a residual image on the spot. Ninjutsu, instant body technique. 
The spiritual power gathered at the toes, which greatly increased Qin Shi's speed again. Ha! In just a few breaths, Qin Shi had come to Ai Luo's side. At this time, the sand shield in front of the opponent had closed for the most part, leaving some small gaps. Chidori, thrust, Qin Shi thrust his right hand, which was flashing with lightning, towards the gap. It was like a sharp knife cutting into tofu. His right hand easily pierced through the defense of the sand shield and hit Ilo's chest. Ilo looked at his heart in disbelief, and spurted out a large mouthful of blood with a wow. In an instant, all the sand that rose up around him fell to the ground. Chin Shi pulled out his right hand. The opponent took a few steps back and fell to the ground with a bang. Ilo, the successor of Gara, was defeated and died. At the moment of his death, his body turned into dust, and the whole person was teleported out of the forest. Even the blood on Qin Shi's hand disappeared. For a moment, Qin Shi was a little dazed, as if this battle had never happened. This enemy can use four ninjutsu in succession. His real strength lies in his spiritual power and ability to do many things at the same time. Qin Shi patted the sand on his body. But the outcome of this battle was decided when he was about to use the sand shield for defense. After all, in the Naruto anime, Gara's sand shield, which was blessed by maternal love, could not stop Sasuke's Chidori thrust. How can your ordinary sand shield block my attack? He picked up the scattered plant cards on the ground and took out his Zenpakuda to chop a few nearby cacti. A mechanical sound rang in his ears. It is detected that the host defeated the S-level Gara successor Iroh. The opponent died in the secret realm, but the real body did not die. Judgment pseudo kill. You get plus 500 experience points and 2 skill points. The reward options for kill, pseudo kill, reduced reward are being launched. You can choose a reward from the following options. 01. Sand Ninjutsu Sand Shield. Defensive Ninjutsu, produces sand balls comparable to the hardness of steel, completely wrapping the user. The whole process takes 10 seconds. Determined by the system, kill the person and the host are inherited from the same plane and do not belong to the bloodline limit. If you do not choose this reward, you can spend a skill point to master it. O2. Sand Ninjutsu. Third Eye. Use sand to turn into an eye to scout somewhere else, and then transmit the visual image to the eye that the main body is holding with his hand. This ninjutsu comes from the Naruto world. If you do not choose this reward, you can spend a skill point to master it. O3. Sand Ninjutsu, Hand of Sand. Use sand to turn into a hand. It is not powerful, but has high flexibility. This ninjutsu comes from the Naruto world. If you do not choose this reward, you can spend a skill point to master it. O4. Spiritual Power Gift. If you kill, pseudo kill, the reward is reduced the S level inheritor I Luo, you can permanently obtain one tenth of his spiritual power. Please make a choice within 30 seconds. 30. 29, 28. Can you still consume skill points, to learn the opponent's skills? Seeing the system's prompt this time, Qin Shi was surprised again. Before killing Ming Zhe and the monster Killian, he could only choose one from the rewards. But Ai Luo and he belong to the same Hokage heritage. If you kill the opponent, you can get all the rewards as long as you consume skill points. What a surprise. Ah this, that's not worth thinking about. I choose reward 4, spiritual power gift. Then consume 3 skill points and master all 3 ninjutsu in the reward options. Ding, I Luo's spiritual power value is 10 cards, calculating. You will always get 1 card of spiritual power value increase. You have consumed 3 skill points, and the sand ninjutsu sand shield, third eye, and sand hand have been mastered by you. Remaining skill points, 4. Twisting his limbs, Chin Shi stomped on the sand pile under his feet. Then he began to move sand into the system storage space. To perform sand ninjutsu, sand is needed as a medium. And ninjutsu like sand shield requires a lot of sand. Chin Shi roughly estimated that at least one cubic meter was needed. He was originally hesitant. If he could only be rewarded with one sand ninjutsu, he would have to consume one cubic meter of system storage space. It was somewhat not worth it. But there were three sand ninjutsu. Then this deal could be done. After filling 1.5 cubic meters of sand, Chin Shi clapped his hands. System, go find the next target. Inheritance I activated, search for S-level inheritors, searching. 
six light spots appeared in front of him. Just choose it. After choosing the light spot closest to him, a cursor pointing the way appeared in front of Qin Shi. This time the distance was farther. But Qin Shi was not in a hurry, he still had system tasks to complete. After walking a short distance, he found a golden field in front of him. Ha! Found a new terrain, a cornfield. Qin Shi stood outside the cornfield. The cornfield was full of corn pitchers. It's a good place to swipe cards. Qin Shi walked towards the cornfield, and when he was still 10 meters away from the field, he thought it should still be a safe zone. All the corn pitchers turned their heads and looked at him. Qin Shi was stunned for a moment, and the reminder of Dave, the owner of the forest, sounded. The patrol range of plants is constantly refreshed. Maybe it didn't notice you the previous second, and you were in its attack range the next second. It can't be such a coincidence that it just happened to refresh its patrol range when it hits them. Qin Shi suddenly had a headache. His guess was immediately fulfilled. Countless corn kernels fell from the sky. This was the concentrated fire attack of the corn pitchers. I, I had planned to take away these plants with a fireball after approaching, but now I was preempted. But you little corns, do you think you can defeat me? Qin Shi snorted coldly and chanted the spell quickly. The 39th Binding Path, Round Gate Fan. A circular arc-shaped light barrier was generated above his head. Countless corn kernels fell, hitting the round gate fan like raindrops hitting glass. There was a constant crackling sound. After a moment, the surroundings became quiet. Qin Shi looked at the round gate fan above his head. The barrier of the light curtain has already had many cracks, but it has not been completely broken. Is this the only power? Qin Shi muttered to himself. However, before he could finish, a huge corn fell from the sky, like a large artillery shell. As this, the attack of the corn cannon. Looking at the cannon that was about to fall, Qin Shi gritted his teeth, injected spiritual power madly, and chanted so hard that he almost bit his tongue. Finally, before the corn bomb fell, another round gate fan was added. Boom, the corn bomb collided with the round gate fan, and a strong shock wave swept all around. The dust raised made Qin Shi cough twice. He looked at the round pit beside him with lingering fear. The two round gate fans failed to withstand the bombardment of the corn bomb. But fortunately, the second round gate fan that Qin Shi chanted could adjust the angle of the light curtain. Although he failed to block the corn bomb fired by the corn cannon, he successfully changed its trajectory. It caused its landing point to shift and finally hit the ground next to Qin Shi. With this power, if I were to be hit head on, even someone as strong as me would probably be eliminated. The power of the corn cannon is the best among all plants except the destruction mushroom. In the game Plants vs. Zombies, it is also a top weapon. But the weakness of the corn cannon is also obvious, that is, it takes a long time to charge. After firing a shot, it takes a long time to launch the second attack. After resisting the first corn cannonball, Qin Shi finally had time to look at the cornfield in front of him. With the help of the Sharingan, he clearly saw a huge plant in the cornfield. It looked like an oversized corn, arranged to look like a cannon. It was one of the advanced mutant plants in this forest, the corn cannon. With layers of visual barriers, I didn't notice the big corn at the first time, and I almost fell. Qin Shi felt as if he had entered a no man's land while cutting down plants along the way. Only those S-level plants could cause a little damage to him. This time, the cannon hidden in the cornfield gave him a warning. This is a survival game, with countless pitfalls waiting for those who enter. If you want to live safely to the end, you must cheer up. After the corn cannon attacked, countless small corns shot over again like rain. After the big ones hit the small ones, is this the way to attack this cornfield? The small corn kernels fill the gaps in the big corn bombs. It truly achieved uninterrupted firing on the enemy. Qin Shi stretched out his hand, and a new round gate fan appeared above his head. System, give me some points, one point for each of the three sand ninjutsu. Qin Shi shouted in his heart, and then made seals with both hands. Ninjutsu, sand shield, LV2 sand shield, as long as you make success, Qin Shi was confident that he could withstand the attack of the corn cannon. The power of the corn cannon gave him time to perform ninjutsu. Sand flowed out of the system space and quickly gathered around him. 
Ten seconds later, the dense and thick sand ball protected him. Boom! After the sand ball was formed, the second shell of the corn cannon also exploded. But the sand ball did not move at all, without even a crack. LV-2 Sand Shield, the defense is really not covered. If there is no specialized piercing technique similar to Chidori, it will be very difficult to break this sand ball. Chin Shi thought secretly. The sand ball could not move and blocked his sight, making it difficult to counterattack the cornfield. However, Chin Shi had already planned a counterattack. An eyeball made of sand appeared outside the sand shield. Ninjutsu, the third eye, can transmit the information seen by the sand eyeball to the user in real time. Then, a large hand formed of sand particles appeared and flew towards the cornfield. In the hand of the hand of sand, there were five detonating talismans that were about to explode. Boom 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 boom. The five detonating talismans were accurately delivered to the side of the corn cannon. The huge explosion directly overturned the corn cannon. The danger point is lifted, then. In the sand ball, Chin Shi quickly formed seals with both hands. Between his teeth, he bit a few thin threads. These thin threads were also thrown into the cornfield by the hand of sand. Ninjutsu, great fireball jutsu. Chin Shi puffed up his cheeks and then blew out a mouthful of flames. The sand shield immediately opened a hole, and the huge fireball quickly burned into the cornfield along the silk thread. The flames burned and immediately ignited the corn pitchers in the cornfield. One by one, under the huge fire, the corn pitchers in the entire cornfield were all destroyed. Done. Seeing the entire cornfield reduced to ashes, Chin Shi lifted the defense of the sand shield. There were cards scattered in the cornfield, most of which were weak corn pitchers. Chin Shi picked them up one by one without thinking that they were small. Ha! Huh, he picked up a card happily. On the card was a huge corn standing on a turret. It was the corn cannon. When a plant was killed, there was a one-fifth chance of turning into a card. And the corn cannon that was blown up by Chin Shi happened to meet that one-fifth chance and turned into a card. When luck comes, it can't be stopped. Chin Shi picked up the card with satisfaction. With this card, those zombies will come and die in groups at night. Just as Chin Shi continued to pick up cards, outside the forest, the live broadcast robot Dave was holding a microphone. The IMAX big screen behind him showed the dying scenes of each student being eliminated. Ouch, the game has been going on for five hours, and one, two, three, 351 students have been eliminated. Let's take a look at the current death terrain rankings. The entire foggy forest is not just trees. There are also potato mine wastelands, sunflower beds, kelp rivers, corn fields, cabbage fields and other small terrains. There are exclusive plants in each terrain. And these strange terrains are often full of dangers and are the main places where students die. The third highest death terrain is the sunflower field. There are small hot peppers hidden in the sunflowers. Wow! This is the famous Voldemort, just waiting for the poor student lambs to get close, and then, barbecue. The current death toll in the sunflower field, 49 people. The second highest death terrain is, the golden corn field. Small corn followed by big corn, the terrifying corn shells left no trace of the students who entered. Tisk, one word, bloody. The current death toll in the golden corn field is, 81 people. So, the first one is. The live broadcast robot lengthened the tone. It is the dark swamp that can devour prey silently. The swamp is a special terrain that only exists in this forest. The current death toll is 150 people. According to the data of previous years, the number of people who can come out alive after entering the dark swamp is zero. Poor lambs, the only thing you can do is not to easily enter that swamp. As if recalling some bad memories, Arnold closed the magic book in his hand. Tisk tisk, dark swamp. Back then, I was an S level, the most handsome man in the supernova class, and I died tragically in this swamp. I dare say that most students who can survive safely for 12 hours are just lucky. If you enter this swamp, it is simply, nine deaths. Chingzi glanced at him. So you died before you even made it to the second level, zombie attack. It's embarrassing for R.S. level. Arnold blushed. What shame, what shame, is getting lost embarrassing. I'll throw you in, and you won't be able to get out. In the forest, Chin Shi followed the arrows and kept moving forward. 
after burning a pumpkin field and cutting a few street lamp flowers along the way. The limited time secret mission, Plant Harvester, has been completed to 1730ths. Victory is not far away. Chin Shi encouraged himself. After a while, he stopped. In front of him was a large area shrouded in darkness. In the darkness, there were only a few scattered lights, allowing him to see the vague situation in the terrain. It's too dark. Chin Shi made seals with both hands. Zi Yin Shu Cho Mao Yin. Fire escape. Phoenix fire technique. A few mouthfuls of old fire spewed out of his mouth, floating towards the dark area like ghost fire. With the help of Fengxian fire, he saw the true terrain of this dark land. It turned out to be a swamp. Chin Shi frowned. He intuitively felt that there was a great danger in this dark swamp. But the location of the next S-level inheritor prompted by the system is in this darkness. But this swamp feels very bad to me. Forget it, there will be opportunities to kill him in the future, it is not worth being eliminated here. Just when Chin Shi made up his mind and was about to leave. Help, Wu Wu, help, a cry for help came. Chin Shi was stunned. This voice sounded a little familiar. He listened carefully. No doubt, this is Lao Lu's Fianca copyright E, the big star inherited by Cardcaptor Sakura. What's her name? Mu Yang, what should I do? Save or not, this is my brother's beloved Fianca copyright E. Chin Shi hesitated on the spot. Help, help, there is someone outside, I. Dot dot, I'm Mu Yang, I have money, if someone can save me, I'm willing to give one million in cash. Hearing this shout, Chin Shi retracted his raised foot. His face was full of righteousness. This is not for money, but for the friendship between my brothers. Chin Shi said to himself. I saved his Fianca copyright E, and the rich man Lao Lu must give me another green water demon watch. Then I'll give you a hand reluctantly, after all, it's for my brother. Quote. Thinking of this, Chin Shi looked at the dark swamp. He turned around and went to the forest to find many branches, tied them together with thin threads, and made a dozen simple torches. Outdoor survivalists please do not study the details of torch production, cover your face. After lighting the torch, Chin Shi then injected spiritual power into the soles of his feet. He then walked into the swamp. In Naruto, by injecting chakra into the soles of the feet, ninjas can even walk briskly on the water. This trick is known by all genin, and it is not difficult. Chin Shi used this method to walk on the swamp as if walking on flat ground. The direction of the sound was not far away. Soon, Chin Shi saw the girl trapped in the swamp from a distance. He quickly put on a cat face mask. For no other reason, he still had to hunt other S-level students in the forest, and he would not expose himself if he could. Seeing the fire approaching her, the girl looked overjoyed. Quick, classmate, pull me up quickly. Quote, However, Chin Shi did not move, but squatted on the ground and stretched out his finger to the other party. Then hooked. What? What do you mean? The girl who was trapped in the swamp was confused. Money, Jojo coins, money, do you understand? One hand gives money, the other hand saves people. Chin Shi pulled his throat and pretended to speak in another voice. The girl stared at the other party. The only person who came to save her was this one person, and he was a student of Osiris Red. If I miss this student, I won't be able to hold on for much longer. She rolled her eyes, and then raised her left hand that was not completely sank into the mud. The palm was spread out, and there was an exquisite ruby ring inside. This is my storage ring, which contains one million Jojo coins. If you pull me up, I will give you all the ring and money. Quote. However, before she could finish, a hand made of sand had already grabbed the ring. Whoosh, the sand hand quickly retracted. Put the ruby firmly in Chin Shi's hand. You, a trace of anger appeared on Mu Yang's face. Before she could continue speaking, Chin Shi waved his hand impatiently. I said I would save you, and I will save you. I am not a person who takes money and does not work. As he spoke, Chin Shi quickly formed a seal. Another sand hand was generated, and it flew quickly towards Mu Yang. Two sand hands grabbed the girl's arms and pulled her out continuously. Just when the girl was about to emerge from the ground, her face suddenly changed drastically, and she quickly yelled at Chin Shi. Be careful, Chin Shi looked up and saw three mushrooms jumping towards him not far away. There were colorful halos on the mushrooms, 
heads, and there were two eyes like mosquito coils on their trunks. It was clearly a muddy swamp, but the mushrooms jumping on the ground gave Chinchi the illusion of bouncing on a trampoline. Don't get hit by them. The girl shouted anxiously. I was touched by this kind of mushroom that suddenly emerged from the swamp, and then I fell asleep all of a sudden. Chin Shi glanced at her. Do I need you to tell me? He looked at the bouncing mushrooms. As an old player of Plants vs. Zombies, he recognized this kind of mushroom at a glance. Hypnotic mushrooms. In the game, it can turn a zombie into one of its own. In this secret realm, can it hypnotize the entrance it encounters? Since Chin Shi knew the other party's ability, he would naturally not let this mushroom touch him. Fire Escape, Phoenix Fire Technique Several flames like phoenix flowers floated accurately towards the hypnotic mushrooms and then burned them to ashes. Even if you grow in the swamp, it can't change your essence as plants. Fire overcomes wood, and Fire Escape plays a significant role in this secret realm. After dealing with several hypnotic mushrooms, the girl was pulled up by Chin Shi's sand hand. She quickly retrieved the magic wand that was about to sink into the mud from the swamp nearby. With the magic wand in hand, Mu Yang's temperament changed instantly. Klo reads magic card, float, a card was flying in the air. Mu Yang's body slowly floated to a height of one meter in the air, and two small wings appeared on her back. After solving the problem of walking in the swamp, the girl took out another card. Klo reads magic card, light, a dazzling light came out from the card, dispelling the darkness around. The vision suddenly widened. Kinemoto Sakura's inheritance is really a panacea. Looking at the girl's beautiful casting movements, Chin Shi couldn't help but sigh. Kinemoto Sakura is the heroine of the anime, Cardcaptor Sakura. Can use magic cards called, Klo cards. In the anime, Klo cards are divided into sun attributes and moon attributes. With 53 cards including light, illusion, fire, thunder, sword, shield, etc., it covers almost all fields. Whatever ability you want, it is almost available here. A perfect inheritance of panacea. As the darkness dissipated, Chin Shi also found plants growing around him. Small spray mushrooms, large spray mushrooms, sunshine mushrooms emitting weak sunlight, etc. A whole mushroom paradise. So many mushrooms, it's a good place to swipe cards. Chin Shi's eyes lit up. The kanai in his hand shot out quickly and hit a small spray mushroom accurately. Just as he was about to swipe the card again, the girl's voice came from beside him. These plants are all my prey. If you dare to kill one again, I will kill you. I have been rescued now, and you have lost your value. Give me back my ruby, and do things according to my orders, and I may be able to spare your life. Mu Yang licked her red lips, looking at Chin Shi with contempt in her eyes. Under the cat-faced mask, Chin Shi turned his head and met the other person's eyes. You're crossing the river and destroying the bridge. Are you sure? I think no smart person would do that. Why, do you still want to threaten me? Mu Yang smiled contemptuously. With your B-level inheritance, it's easier for me to kill you than to kill these plants. Hurry up and give me the ring, otherwise, you will be eliminated in this swamp, hee <laughs> hee. Mu Yang sneered twice. Chin Shi looked at the other person and hesitated for a moment. Before you kill me, can I ask you a question first? You, are you really Pei Bu's Fianca copyrightee? Being asked such a question suddenly, the girl was stunned. Then her expression changed, with a look of disgust, as if she remembered something that made her sick. You actually asked me this question. Well, you're going to die soon, and I happen to be in a good mood, so I might as well tell you. Fina fat guy from the Pei family, fat and ugly, without even abs, is worthy of my beauty that can make fishes sink and geese fall. Quote. Originally, I heard that he could become the future head of the Pei family, so I asked my father to take the initiative to make an engagement with that fat guy. Now I am S level, and he has awakened a B level inheritance. In the future, that fat guy will be a marginal person in their Pei family. What qualifications does he have to marry me? I have notified my father and asked him to go to the Pei family to cancel the engagement, which will be a matter of two days. A B level also wants to marry an S level, it's really a toad wanting to eat swan meat, dreaming. Listening to Mu Yang's words, Chin Shi's face instantly turned cold. I was a little hesitant at first, but I feel relieved when you say that. 
I really have to thank you, you will soon become the nourishment for my strength. Quote. He slowly drew out his Zanpakuda. Come to think of it, Miss Mew actually wants to cancel the engagement, and she also despises old Pei for being a fool. Haven't you heard a saying? Thirty years in the East, thirty years in the West, don't bully the poor young man. As soon as the voice fell, the instant body technique was activated. Chin Shi rushed over like a sharp arrow. The Zanpakuda stabbed straight at the girl floating in the air. So fast, Mu Yang was shocked. I didn't expect the other party to really dare to attack her S level. I didn't expect the other party's physical skills to be so outstanding, and the attack speed made it almost impossible for her to dodge. I originally wanted to use you as a scapegoat for me to explore this swamp. Now you dare to attack me, then die. Mu Yang quickly took out a card. Kirolido's magic card. Shield. Quote. A feather-like shield appeared beside the girl, and with a clang sound, it blocked the enemy's sword. Chin Shi immediately adjusted his posture and chopped at a different angle. But the shield seemed to have a spirit, flying back and forth beside the girl, and blocked his slash again. Taking advantage of the gap when the shield blocked the enemy, Mu Yang's figure floated up again. Two meters above the ground. Then through a cloak card phantom. Mist suddenly appeared, tightly wrapping Chin Shi who was attacking. In an instant, Chin Shi saw countless mirrors appear around him. The mirrors kept reflecting, and new mirrors kept appearing. There is a self in each mirror, just like a kaleidoscope. This is an illusion created by the illusion card. Looking at Chin Shi, who was stunned in place and trapped in the illusion, the girl's mouth corners rose. The body floating in the air also slowly fell down. B-level inheritance requires B-level cognition. If you provoke the superior inheritor, you will pay the price of your life. Quote. She floated in front of Chin Shi with pride, and the magic wand in her hand turned into a long sword. This is the effect of the cloak card, the sword card. Just as she raised the sword in her hand and prepared to stab it into Chin Shi's chest. The other party's mouth corners slightly raised. The long knife hanging in her hand was suddenly raised. It stabbed into the girl's body at a faster speed. Blood dripped, and the girl looked at the long knife on her chest in disbelief. How could you? Dot how could you get rid of the illusion? Quote. What greeted her question was Chin Shi's cold cat-faced mask. The black Magatama turned in his eye sockets. Dare you play such a low-grade illusion in front of the Sharingan? Do you think the grass on your grave is too high? Chin Shi sneered in his heart. He kicked the opponent's magic wand away, then jumped up with both feet, spinning like a top. A lion combo hit the woman's plump chest. A mouthful of blood spurted out, and the girl was kicked into the mud. The magic wand fell, and Mu Yang could no longer maintain the effect of the floating card. She could only watch herself sinking deeper and deeper with horror. Miss Mu, you don't understand one thing. Looking at the beautiful girl whose neck was almost buried in the swamp, Chin Shi squatted down and said slowly. The person who can save you can also kill you. At the moment when the swamp completely swallowed up Mu Yang, a uh, ding sounded in Chin Shi's ears. Bingo, reward received. It is detected that the host defeated the S level inheritor Mu Yang. The opponent died in the secret realm, but the real body did not die. It was judged pseudo kill. You get plus 500 experience points and two skill points. The kill, pseudo kill, reduced reward, reward option is being launched. You can choose a reward from the following options. 01. Clo Card Illusion. The Sun Attribute Clo Card can release magic that makes the opponent think of what he misses in his heart and transforms or confuses the opponent's perception to produce hallucinations. Please note that since you are not a magician of Clo Cards, the card development level is level 1, but you can use skill points to improve the card development level. 02. Clo Card Float. The Sun Attribute Clo card can release magic that can float people or objects. Please note that since you are not a magician of the Clo cards, the card development level is level 1, but you can use skill points to improve the card development level. 03. Clo card, Sword. The Sun Attribute Clo card can be enchanted to transform into a sword, or transformed into an indestructible sword, and give the user extremely high swordsmanship attainments. As the card development level increases, there will be unexpected effects. Please note that since you are not a magician of the Clo cards, the card development level is level 1, but you can use skill points to improve the card development level. 
404. Spiritual Power Gift. You kill, pseudo kill. The reward is reduced the S level inheritor Mu Yang, and you can permanently obtain 1 20th. The ratio changes randomly between 1 10th, 1 20th, and 1 30th of his spiritual power. Please make a choice within 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28. Did you randomly draw the illusion, floating in sword cards? Chin Shi ignored option 4. After all, the draw ratio is only 1 20th. And for most freshmen, Chin Shi really doesn't like their total spiritual power. First is option 1, the illusion card. In addition to creating ordinary illusions, it can also attack the opponent's mental loopholes. It's still a good magic. But I have the Sharingan. Who is not a master of illusion with the Sharingan? Do I need a illusion card? Chin Shi crossed out option 1 in his mind. Then there is option 2, the floating card. The ability to float in the air can make me have the strength of air combat, but it's a pity that it's not a flying card. Look at the animation. Sakura didn't use it much, it's really average. Option 2 was crossed out. Finally, the sword card. Chin Shi looked at this card and hesitated. He already has a Zanpakuda, and it feels a bit redundant to have a sword. However, the description on the sword card made Chin Shi curious. With the improvement of the card development level, there will be unexpected effects. System, can you show me what effect the sword card can have after adding points? Ding, the sword card is one of the few cards in the Clo cards with high development potential. After the system's judgment. Sword card LV1, turn the enchanted magic wand into a sword, or the card itself into a sharp sword, the sharpness of the sword is high, and the user is given LV1 sword skills. Consume one skill point to improve the development level. Sword card LV2. Transform into a sword. The sharpness of the sword is further improved. Inject enough spiritual power to even cut off elemental magic attacks such as wind and thunder, and give the user LV2 sword skills. Consume three more skill points to improve the development again. Sword card LV3. A sharp sword is transformed. The sharpness of the sword is developed to the maximum. The injection of spiritual power can cut off most magic attacks and give the user LV3 sword skills. Sword card LV3 will open the hidden function floating sword. Consuming spiritual power, the sword can be controlled by the user and fly in the air. Floating, floating in the air, isn't that a flying sword? I thought card captor Sakura was a girl manga since I was a child, but you told me it was a cultivation manga. Why are you still hesitating? Choose it, choose it. Chin Shi couldn't wait to choose option 3. A card fell into his hand. On the card, there was a sharp sword, the sword was wrapped in chains, the sword guard was two white feathers, and the sword body was white and slender. Add points, directly add to LV3. Looking at the card in his hand, Chin Shi muttered in his heart. Ding, consume four skill points, the sword card development degree is increased to LV3, and has been increased to the highest development degree. I don't know if an illusion, Chin Shi feels that the sword card in his hand seems to have changed, and an inexplicable sense of familiarity surges into his heart. The flying sword on the card is more lifelike, as if it is about to fly out of the card. Klo, Klo card created by Klo Rito, in the name of your master. Chin Shi, I order you to lift the seal. Sword. After hesitating for a moment, he still recited the spell with some embarrassment, and suddenly a ding sound rang in his ear. Host. The card has been specially processed by the system, you just need to throw the card. F asterisk K, didn't you say it earlier, making me so second rate? You didn't ask. Chin Shi complained about the system and threw the sword clo card in his hand. The card stopped in the air as if it had a spirit. Magic power poured out of the card, wrapping the card. After a moment, the card disappeared and turned into a snow-white long sword shining with silver light. The long sword whistled and flew across the sky. In the flying sword mode, the spiritual power is lost very quickly. Feeling the loss of spiritual power, Chin Shi made a judgment. In less than a minute, five cards of my spiritual power were consumed. This is not something that ordinary inheritors can use. But, it's really cool. Just when Chin Shi was experiencing the joy of flying swords. Outside the forest, Kai Kwan, who had a square face, stood at the gate with a livid face. The light at the gate flashed, and a girl covered in mud fell from the light. Ahem, the girl's eyes were horrified, like a drowning person who had finally climbed out of the river. 
The eliminated person this time is the supernova class, the big star Mu Yang. The live broadcast robot shouted loudly, Tisk Tisk, including Miss Mu, three students from the supernova class have been eliminated. The first level, plant survival battle is only halfway through, and three S level students have been eliminated. According to historical data, Teacher Kai, your class has created an unprecedented record. Laughter rang out all around. Kai Kwan clenched his hands, his teeth chattering. Who is it? Who is hunting his own students? In the forest, Chin Shi, who was fiddling with the flying sword, suddenly frowned. He felt that the swamp under his feet seemed to be shaking. It was as if there was something huge in the swamp, surging up. Not good. Chin Shi looked around. The mushrooms that were jumping around stupidly before now began to twist their bodies. The expression on his face also began to twist, as if he was being stimulated by something. The brightness has dimmed, Mu Yang has been eliminated, and the effect of the light cloak card will not last long. Chin Shi immediately planned to give up the idea of harvesting mushroom cards and turned around to run out of the swamp. However, to his surprise, the mushrooms around him seemed to collectively realize his existence and rushed towards him frantically. Are these mushrooms crazy? Chin Shi's eyes were sharp, and he controlled the flying sword transformed by the sword clo card. The sword light flashed, small spray mushrooms, large spray mushrooms, sunshine mushrooms, and even some timid mushrooms hidden in the soil. All were pierced by the sword and turned into dust. However, more and more mushrooms around gathered fire. Swoosh! Five kanai shot at the attacking mushrooms. At the end of the kanai, there was a thin silk thread. Fire escape, great fireball technique. Chin Shi puffed up his cheeks and a fireball spurted out of his mouth. The fireball was divided into five and rushed towards the attacking mushrooms along the thin thread. After a while, the swamp was ablaze. But the flames did not last long. Mushrooms with ice on their heads and blue bodies emerged from the swamp and plunged into the raging fire. This is the ice mushroom, which can release ice that covers a certain range through self-explosion. The cold air filled the entire swamp. All the burning flames were extinguished. Ice mushrooms to put out the fire. Just when Chin Shi was thinking about how to deal with these mushrooms, his face suddenly changed. He exerted force on his feet and jumped away from the place where he had just stood. As soon as his front foot left, a hole appeared in the swamp. A blue ice mushroom emerged from the mud and exploded as soon as it appeared. The frost froze, but Chin Shi had already fallen outside the freezing range. Fortunately, I have the Sharingan. I saw something strange in the swamp. Chin Shi took two deep breaths and suddenly widened his eyes. Under the effect of the Sharingan, countless red dots lit up in the swamp. Oh my god, it turns out that the real mushroom group is not on the ground at all, but still in the swamp soil. He quickly formed a seal and summoned fine sand from the system space while running. Defensive ninjutsu, sand shield. After a while, a sand ball wrapped around him was formed. Outside the ball was a round eye made of sand. Not long after the sand shield was built, countless mushrooms emerged from the soil. The big and small spray mushrooms and the timid mushrooms kept spewing spores and mist, which hit the sand shield with crackling sounds, just like rain and the sunshine with dots of light and the colorful charm mushrooms all rushed directly at them without caring about their lives. For a while, the outer surface of the sand ball was full of juice splashed by mushrooms hitting the sand ball. The enemies were endless, and it was impossible to count how many mushrooms there were. But fortunately, the defense of the sand shield was strong enough. The short-term intensive attack of the mushroom group did not break the shell of the sand ball. After a while, the whole swamp suddenly became quiet. All the mushrooms, whether they were on the swamp or had just emerged and had not completely emerged from the swamp, all stopped. It was like being stilled. However, Chin Shi felt a palpitating breath. These mushrooms are not quieting down on their own. They are just like the animals in the forest. When there are ferocious beasts approaching, all animals dare not run, but only tremble in place. The strong sense of oppression made Chin Shi's breathing accelerate. The swamp began to rise and fall, like waves, and even heard a rumbling sound similar to drumming. Chin Shi's eyes were horrified. Looking at the scale of the swamp's landform, the plants that came are probably very large. He made a prompt decision and instantly lifted the defense of the sand ball. Run, run now. Although the mushrooms on the ground were not moving, 
they were densely packed in the swamp. Chin Shi couldn't move quickly on the ground. However, this didn't bother him. The sword card appeared in his hand again, and then disappeared. A white sword broke through the air. Chin Shi grabbed the sword handle with both hands, and then controlled the flying sword to fly out of the swamp. An alternative sword controlling technique. As the flying sword dragged him away from the spot, Chin Shi looked down. The huge plant finally appeared. Nod. The pure black mushroom head covered the swamp, and under the mushroom head was a pair of blood red eyes. With just one glance, Chin Shi felt sweat on his back. This, this is destruction mushroom. Destruction mushroom, a self destructing plant in Plants vs. Zombies, nicknamed Doomsday Mushroom and Nuclear Mushroom. The effect is very simple. After the explosion of the destruction mushroom, a mushroom cloud is generated, destroying all zombies within a certain range with itself as the center. Moreover, the terrain after the explosion will not be able to grow plants for a short time. It is a top-level plant bomb, and the size of the destruction mushroom in Chin Shi's eyes seems to be a collection of thousands of mushrooms. If this destruction mushroom explodes, Chin Shi feels that it can nuclear flatten the entire swamp. Fly, fly quickly. Chin Shi frantically injected spiritual power into the flying sword. The wind whistled, and the speed of the flying sword increased by another order of magnitude, flying towards the dark boundary line between the swamp and the forest like a sharp arrow. The head of the giant mushroom of destruction popped out, followed by the entire gray mushroom body. Then, its mouth bulged, as if it was inhaling. Boom! A huge mushroom cloud rose into the sky. Black smoke rolled, and the energy of the bomb of destruction spread out in all directions, completely destroying all plants. After a moment, all the plants disappeared without leaving even a trace. The huge swamp terrain left only a huge black pit. Chin Shi flew out of the black smoke. The flying sword staggered and brought him to the grass, and then disappeared without support. Chin Shi fell to the ground with a bang. Ah, wow! A mouthful of blood spurted out, and there were countless large and small wounds on his body. At the last moment of the explosion of the Mushroom of Destruction, he successfully flew to the border between the swamp and the forest. But the devastating explosion still caused him serious injuries. Blood flowed out of his body quickly. If he was not treated, he would soon be eliminated. Chin Shi supported himself and sat up, then stretched out his hands, as if he was groping for something. A moment later, a golden potato pancake appeared in his hands. Mon Potato Pancake, a special dish given to him by the chef of Dashin. Eating it can immediately heal serious injuries. Chapter 71 Ah, Chin Shi took a big bite of Mon Potato Pancake. After eating the special dish, the wounds on his body healed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Even the spiritual power that was about to run out was quickly restored. Three minutes later, Chin Shi was full of energy and showed no signs of serious injury. I didn't expect that this swamp would be so dangerous. If I didn't have the strength to dominate the new life, I would have died here today. He ran to the deep pit where the destruction mushroom exploded and looked down. The land was charred black and even the hair was blown away. So many mushrooms, tens of thousands of them, but in this explosion, not a single card was left. He sighed. The black fog of the explosion gradually dissipated, and suddenly a palm-sized stone slab fell into his hand from the black fog. Ho ho, congratulations, you little guy who survived. A voice suddenly rang in Chin Shi's ears. This sound is different from the mechanical sound of the system, a bit like the deep voice of a middle-aged man. Chin Shi remembered that when the game prompted the difficulty upgrade three hours ago, it was this sound. The dark swamp explodes on time every time six hours after the game starts. There has been hundreds of server launches, and no one has ever come out of this swamp alive. Congratulations, you have passed the special level of the game for the first time, and this stone tablet is your reward. This is not like those plant cards, which can only be used in the secret realm. It is a real treasure that can be taken out of the secret realm. Finally, Ben Dave wishes you to live longer in this forest, ha ha ha. The sound gradually disappeared. Chin Shi looked at the stone tablet in his hand. There was a picture of the destruction mushroom on it. The information on the stone tablet was directly transmitted to his mind. Destruction Mushroom Stone Tablet 
a disposable stone tablet, a small amount of spiritual power can be injected to unlock the stone tablet and summon a destruction mushroom as tall as a person. Note, after the slate is unsealed, the destruction mushroom will explode within one minute, the user can set the explosion time with an explosion radius of 100 meters. It is extremely powerful and can easily kill a third level monster. Please use it with caution. Oh my god, it can kill a third level monster. It's so powerful. Looking at the slate in his hand, Chin Shi was both happy and afraid. He was happy because he had an extra powerful bomb and had the capital to solve the problem by nuclear peace. He was afraid that if he accidentally injected spiritual power, he would blow himself up. System, is it safe to put this slate in your storage space? Is there a risk of accidental explosion? Opening square bracket dot 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 dot. The storage space of this system is a small alien world without time flow. In the storage space, even a bomb that has exploded must be fixed for me. So reliable, I feel relieved. This is a big trump card. Putting the destruction mushroom slate into the storage space, Chin Shi stood up. Eye of inheritance, continue to guide me to the location of the next S level inheritor. The remaining six light spots floated in front of his eyes. Ha, huh, Chin Shi unexpectedly discovered that there was a light spot very close to him. And the light spot was still approaching him quickly. Chin Shi was stunned for a moment. I haven't set out yet, but the prey has come to me. That's good so I don't have to look for it. He sat next to the deep pit created by the explosion of the destruction mushroom, took out the cat-faced mask and put it on his face, and put his Zanpakudo aside. Then he waited for the other party to arrive leisurely. After a while, a strong man with a naked upper body and eight abdominal muscles ran over quickly. Bulging biceps, thick muscles, and the body of a strong man. Anyone who took a look at it knew that this man had been in the gym all year round and had eaten a lot of protein powder. However, what Chin Shi cared about most was the long swords on his back. There were three long swords. Three swords style. Zoro's inheritance. Chin Shi thought secretly. Seeing Chin Shi sitting next to the deep pit not far away, the man was surprised. Classmate, you were also attracted by the big explosion, right? Big explosion. Chin Shi was stunned, and immediately understood that the explosion referred to the explosion of the destruction mushroom. The black mushroom cloud rising into the sky was so conspicuous that it was no wonder that others found it. I happened to be lost in the nearby forest, and suddenly I heard a loud bang. Oh, that scared me so much that I didn't even feel like shitting. He touched the back of his head and turned to look at the black deep pit. It must be so powerful to blow up such a big pit. If I were in it, I'm afraid even my sensitive skin would be blown away. He looked at Chin Shi and suddenly his face was happy. Same, you are also a swordsman. Chin Shi heard this, picked up the Zanpakudo beside him, and nodded. Oh, I finally met a colleague again. The sensitive man rubbed his hands. My name is Zoro, and I am the descendant of Zoro in the One Piece world. Since we are both swordsmen, why don't we practice together and improve each other? To be honest, my family runs a kendo gym, and I really can't find an opponent in our city. I just want to come to the Demon Hunter Academy to practice with a master. He looked at Chin Shi and said with a smile. My intuition from many years of using swords tells me that you are a strong man, and your level must be not low. Quote. Chin Shi looked at the honest expression of the muscular man in front of him. He stood up slowly patted the dust on his body, and then picked up the Zanpakudo beside him, Asahi. After the effect of Mond Potato Cake, his body was no longer injured, and his physical strength and spiritual power reached the peak state. Just gesture, I don't want to do that. Because swordsmanship is a killing technique, how can it be practiced in a safe environment by fighting one move after another? That is not the real swordsmanship, it is just a juggling between children. Hearing Chin Shi's remarks, the muscular man named Solon's eyes lit up immediately. Classmate, what you said makes sense. Think about my dad, a three-star demon hunter, and his swordsmanship attainments are much higher than mine. It was in the demon domain, where one person and one sword fought with demon beasts for their lives. Without the awareness of sacrificing one's life, how can one truly understand the most exquisite sword moves? Quote, he hammered his right hand with his left hand, and looked at Chin Shi with more fiery eyes. It was like seeing his long-lost best friend. 
Since the atmosphere has been set to this point, Chin Shi decided to continue pretending. A cold voice came from his cat-faced mask. Do you know why the principal asked us to start the entrance examination in this forest? It is because he hopes that we can truly experience the test of life and death. If you don't dare to fight for your life in this secret place where you will never really die, how can you become a real swordsman? Seeing the other party's eyes getting brighter and brighter, Chin Shi knew that he succeeded. You want to practice with me, you can. But our practice, it is not only about who is better, but also about life and death. He raised his Zanpakudo and pointed it at the other party. Do you dare? The muscular man Solon's eyes were wide open after such a long talk. It's a battle of strength and death. What a courage. I wonder why I can't compare to my father. It's because I lack the courage to fight to the death. We are the same age, but you have such a profound understanding than me. Show off, my classmate. He looked at Chin Shi with respect. May I ask your name, classmate? Chin Shi waved his Zanpakudo and put the mask on his face tighter. You don't need to know my name. To you, I am a swordsman. Swordsman, just use the sword to get to know each other. The reason why Chin Shi spent so much time talking. It was because he noticed something. Of the three S-level students before, two took the initiative to challenge him, and one looked down on him. So his harvest was so smooth. But what if the other party found out how powerful he was and tried to escape? Is he really sure of killing an S-class inheritor who is determined to escape? If he doesn't fight, how can he get his pseudo-kill reward? And everyone who has watched Naruto knows that although various ninjutsu are powerful, they are no match for mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. If mouth-to-mouth -mouth is used well, the enemy may sacrifice himself. Solon pulled out the three swords behind him and bit one of them at the corner of his mouth. Woo, these three swords of mine are famous swords used by my father, named Shizu, Sandai Kidetsu, and Wado Aikimanji. These three swords are all top-notch swords in hardness and sharpness. Classmate, you have to be careful. Seeing that the other party could still speak while biting the long sword, Chinshi couldn't help but be curious. Seeing the other party's stomach rise and fall, he realized that the other party was actually speaking ventriloquism. The other party's stomach continued to shrink and rise and fall. I'm willing to risk my life for this battle. Solon, the three sword swordsman of Tianyan City, asks for your advice. Chin Shi smiled slightly. He raised his Zanpakudo in his right hand and held a card in his left hand. I, a two sword swordsman, asks for your advice. Two sword, Solon was stunned. The opponent only had a long sword in his hand, how could it be a two sword style? Just as he was puzzled, a gust of wind suddenly came from behind. Solon turned around and blocked without even looking. Dang, the white Wado Aikimanji long sword resisted the stab of a snow white long sword. After missing the attack, the long sword flew back to Chin Shi's side. This long sword is the sword transformed from the sword clo card. During the time period when the sword clo card was used, his swordsmanship skills were passively upgraded to LV3. LV3 is the great success level, which can be simply understood as the master level. Classmate, be careful. Chin Shi swung his sword forward, stabbing Solon's fatal parts with precision and ruthlessness. The white claw card flying sword also flew back and forth around Solon, and from time to time it stabbed at high speed from the opponent's blind spot. Ding ding ding. Solon waved three long swords, desperately resisting Chin Shi's high-speed offensive, but was forced to retreat while fighting. In just half a minute, the two had exchanged hundreds of moves. Swords and Shadows, Hoo Hoo, Solon saw the opportunity, and Shizu and the third generation Goosh swung down together, finally forcing Chin Shi to retreat a step. Classmate, it's really, good swordsmanship and swordsmanship. It's so enjoyable, so enjoyable. I have never seen a peer with such superb swordsmanship as you. He laughed and moved the scabbard on his waist to the side of his waist. Then, with his head lowered and his eyes slightly closed, he slowly inserted the Wado Aikimanji into the scabbard. To show my respect, please take a look at my ultimate move. You'd better be careful. He put his hand on the hilt of the sheathed sword. His five fingers turned white and even trembled slightly. This was a sign of extreme strength. Aikido Ryu Ai Ai Shishijej. A ray of light suddenly appeared. A powerful sword energy burst out from the scabbard. In just a moment, 
Solon's figure came to Qin Shi's side, and the long sword slashed across the opponent's waist. Good, fast, in Qin Shi's shocked eyes. Wado Aikimanji split Qin Shi in two. Ha, the battle, is over. Solon smiled with satisfaction. Suddenly, there was a sound of collision, and a puff of smoke rose beside him. Qin Shi, who had just been killed by him, had disappeared at this moment. Fake, fake, Solon's jaw dropped. The touch of the blade made him immediately understand that he had killed only the opponent's clone. What a fast swordsmanship, too bad you're just showing off. In front of Suo Long, three Qin Shis appeared, clapping their hands. Ah, this, when did you become a clone? Thrawn wanted to cry but had no tears. It was when you closed your eyes and drew your sword. As he spoke, the three Chinshi came forward with their swords. Kendo Ninjutsu, Three Moon Dance. The three Chinshi slashed at Thorin from the top, left, and right. Ha! Thrawn took a deep breath, his face flushed, and the long swords in his hands and mouth danced rapidly. Dang dang dang! The three long swords barely resisted the Zanpakuto in the hands of the three Chinshi. The clone technique requires the user's spiritual power to be divided equally. This weakened the power of each clone's sword swing. The decrease in power brought about a slight decrease in speed. Therefore, Thorin barely blocked the attack of the three Chinshi. Just as he was breathing heavily and wanted to slow down a little. A white long sword flew across the sky and pierced Thorin's back. I'm holding all three swords, what can you use to resist the attack of the clow card flying sword? Chin Shi's mouth corners rose. Throne also noticed the flying sword from the corner of his eyes, and his face suddenly changed. Zhang, the flying sword pierced into Thrawn's back, but it didn't go too deep. Because there was a black mark on Thrawn's back. The flying sword pierced the black mark, just like piercing on gold and stone. As this, armament hockey, Chin Shi looked at the other party in surprise. I didn't expect that you, a muscle man, are so talented that you have realized armament hockey so early. Armament hockey, one of the three colors of hockey in the world of One Piece, is a proof of strength. This hockey can significantly improve a person's defense. If it is added to fists or feet, it can also improve attack power. It can even damage elemental bodies, and it is a top-notch attack and defense technique. Taking advantage of Qin Shi's moment of surprise, Thrawn once again got rid of Qin Shi's long sword, took a few steps back, and then pulled out the sword from his back and threw it on the ground. Hoo hoo, I just realized it not long ago, and I can only gather domineering in a certain part of my body. He made a hissing sound. Even with the defensive power of armed color domineering, he was still seriously injured. Blood dripped, and he felt that he could not hold on for much longer. You, are really a powerful and respectable opponent. Hoo hoo. I have to admit that you are stronger than me, and those principles have given me a lot of feelings. Thank you, opponent. Throne smiled, his face was pale, and he clenched the long sword in his hand tightly. Come and see my strongest sword skills, maybe after this move, I will be out of breath. But this move, I will do my best to complete it. This is my, thank you. Wait a minute, the three chin she spoke at the same time, and then with a, bang, they all turned into a puff of green smoke. Hoo hoo, this, this is, Throne, who was panting heavily, saw the three Chin Shi disappearing on the spot, and his eyes widened. Three of you, actually, are all clones. A faint light flashed, and Chin Shi's true body appeared. You are a true, excellent swordsman. Since it is your thank you gift, then I will, take it personally. He raised his Zanpakuto and took a stabbing posture. From the brief flaw of Thrawn's Aikijuru II, Chin Shi took the opportunity to launch the shadow clone technique. A total of four clones were summoned. However, his true body used, 26 lights of binding, to hide his body. Then he secretly controlled the flying sword transformed by the clo cards. And planned to use the concealment of invisibility to launch a surprise attack at the moment when Thrawn was exhausted or exposed a flaw. I have been, fighting your clone. So I, didn't have any chance of winning from the beginning, cough cough. Soren's face was a little bitter. He coughed twice, then laughed out loud. I didn't expect that there is a strong man like you in the Demon Hunting Academy. I really, came to the right place, ha ha. He bit a long sword with difficulty, and then held the other two long swords in his hands, one up and one down, one forward and one backward. Try my secret, friend. 
he roared, his hands turned rapidly, and the whole person ran forward. The two swords rotated at high speed like windmills, and strong sword wind swept around him. The sword danced faster and faster, to the point where it could not be seen with the naked eye. Whoosh, this is my strongest secret, three swords flow, three thousand worlds. Chin Shi felt the wind pressure coming towards him, which could cut his skin. What a powerful move. I didn't expect that the secret technique used by Zoro and Hawkeye in their first duel was mastered by a freshman like you. What a talented swordsman, he praised, but he dared not be careless in his heart. The long sword transformed from the cloak card flew back into his hand. Chin Shi held a sword and a knife in his hands across his chest. Sharingan, open. Chin Shi's eyes were stern, and the black magatama turned in his eye sockets. The high-speed sword swinging action that could not be seen by the naked eye before was now seen clearly under the super high inside of the Sharingan. But even if the eyes can see it, the body can't keep up with the speed. Chin Shi gritted his teeth. The spiritual power turned into lightning like a bird's cry, flashing between his hands. Lightning release. Chidori. The lightning release of Chidori can greatly enhance the activity of cells in a short period of time. In the past, in addition to holding Chidori's right hand, he would choose to stimulate the cell activity of his feet to make his sprint faster. This time, he enhanced the cell activity of his arms. The whole arm was flashing with lightning in an instant. Come, fight, Chin Shi roared, raised the sword in his hand, and slashed at the flying Solon at high speed. Lightning and lightning. In just ten seconds, the two had fought hundreds of times. Both of them stood still and did not take a step back. In terms of swordsmanship alone, you are stronger than me. Feeling that he was getting more and more tired in the high-speed fight, Chin Shi admired in his heart. If he continued to chop, he would definitely lose. But apart from swordsmanship, I am much stronger than you. Chin Shi's fingers moved slightly, and several hidden silk threads wrapped around his body. This is his backup. Thread thread fruit skill, parasitic thread. He could have used the parasitic thread to interfere with Thrawn's sword swing. But he didn't want to destroy such a wonderful secret. So he stuck the parasitic thread on his body from the moment Thrawn used his secret. Under the effect of the parasitic thread, Chin Shi's body, which was fighting at high speed, suddenly twisted irregularly. The whole person was suspended in the air, head down, feet up, holding the Zanpakuto in his left hand to block in front of him. A sand hand emerged from behind him and grabbed the opponent's long sword. This is the ninjutsu sand hand. When Thrawn used the secret to rush forward, Chin Shi had already begun to mobilize the fine sand in the system space. The defensive ability of the sand hand is not outstanding. Therefore, as soon as the sand hand touched Thrawn's sword, the fine sand flew around, showing signs of collapse. But the flying fine sand also blocked the opponent's vision. Chin Shi himself held the sword in his right hand and stabbed quickly from bottom to top. The direction of his stab was the opponent's blind spot. A brief opportunity, he wanted to use the hand of sand to interfere with the opponent's brief moment and stab the long sword into the opponent's throat. This is a gamble, however, at the moment when Thrawn's long sword broke through the sand hand. His sword suddenly stopped in the air. The sudden accident made Chin Shi's long sword, which had been against the opponent's neck, stop. Could it be? Chin Shi adjusted his posture and walked quickly to Thrawn's side. He closed his eyes and held his beloved sword tightly with both hands. He was no longer breathing. Under the sunlight that penetrated into the forest, Thrawn stood with a knife and raised the corners of his mouth. Like a statue, Chin Shi was stunned and looked at the other party's peaceful and happy expression. He also smiled. After patting the other party's shoulder, a breeze blew, and Thrawn's body turned into dust and drifted away. S-level inheritor, Thrawn, was eliminated. After the fierce battle, the soreness of the muscles swept through Chin Shi's body, and most of the spiritual power that had been restored not long ago was consumed again. He sat down on the tree stump tiredly, but he felt a fire in his chest. The fire made him feel warm. This battle made him feel refreshed. The unhappiness that had been suppressed in his chest seemed to be released at this moment. As this, the charm of fighting, a mechanical sound suddenly rang in his ears. Ding, the system detected that the host's emotions fluctuated after the battle, and gained a strong sense of fighting. The Sharingan evolved. Chin Shi only felt a stinging pain in his eyes. 
the original double Magatama gradually split, and three black Magatama appeared. The Sharingan evolved, and the current one is, three Magatama Sharingan. A battle actually made the Sharingan evolve again. Chin Shi smiled happily. This is not over yet, the mechanical sound continued. It was detected that the host defeated the S-level inheritor throng, and the opponent died in the secret realm, but the real body did not die, and it was judged pseudo-kill. You get experience points plus 500, skill points 2 points. Kill, pseudo-kill, reduced reward, reward options are being expanded. You can select a reward from the following options. 01. Armament Hockey. One of the three types of hockey in the One Piece world, which can improve one's own defense and attack power, and can capture the body of the natural system flow. Please note that since you are not a One Piece descendant, hockey cannot be practiced and improved, but you can use skill points to improve the development of hockey. 02. Three Swords Flow Secret, 3000 Worlds. Zoro's secret sword technique in the One Piece world, the posture of spinning two swords like a windmill will generate strong wind, and then the high-speed slash is difficult to see through. Please note that since you are not a descendant of Solon, this secret skill can only be improved through practice, but you can use skill points to improve the development of your swordsmanship. 03. Spiritual Power Gift. If you kill, pseudo-kill, the reward is reduced S level inheritor Solon, you can permanently obtain 1 30th the ratio changes randomly between 1 10th, 1 20th, and 1 30th of his spiritual power. Please make a choice within 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28. You can even take Zoro's ultimate 3000 worlds as a reward, system, you are really good. Looking at the 3000 worlds and the options. Chin Shi still has some lingering fears when he thinks of the 3000 worlds that Zoro has just performed with his dying body. But it's a pity, the 3000 worlds are the ultimate of the three swords flow, and I, Chin Shi, don't plan to use three swords. When he thought that the three swords flow required a long sword in his mouth, he shook his head. What's more, I also learned another skill from him. Chin Shi put the Zanpakuto into the scabbard, held the hilt with his right hand, exerted force with his five fingers, pushed the ground with his feet, and then drew the sword violently. His figure disappeared from the original place, and the whole person moved to a big tree at high speed. The knife light suddenly appeared, and the big tree fell down. This is the special move that Zoro has used, the one sword flow I I Shishizhez. A high speed sword drawing slash. When Zoro said he was going to use his ultimate move, Chin Shi did one more thing besides using his shadow clone. That was to open his Sharingan with great interest to learn this skill secretly. This sword skill was Zoro's ultimate move, but it was not yet at the level of the secret. After the Sharingan had carefully reproduced the opponent's moves, Chin Shi was able to restore this move. Unfortunately, I am not Zoro's descendant after all. I can copy the moves, but it is difficult to further improve them. I mainly have to rely on adding points. Putting away his Zanpakudo, Chin Shi looked directly at the only option given by the system. As for, spiritual power gift. The acquisition of 1 30th made him ignore this option directly. This is armament hockey. Chin Shi's eyes were straight. Armament hockey is the standard of the strong. It can be wrapped around itself and around weapons. It can also deal with annoying natural ability users. The skill development potential is extremely high and it is very versatile. System, this is it, I choose armament hockey. Ding, the host has chosen armament hockey, current hockey development level. LV1. The pseudo kill reward interface is closed. Chin Shi felt a special energy in his body. Armament hockey, entangle. He concentrated and directed the energy to his hand. After a while, his fist turned black. It was just a sign of successful hockey entanglement. Chin Shi punched the ground. Boom, he punched a small hole in the ground. The power of this punch has increased by at least 50%. The key is that with such a heavy punch, my hand doesn't hurt at all. Godly skill, really a godly skill. When I read the One Piece comics, what moved him the most was the three-color hockey, compared to the fruit ability. Now, I finally got the first kind of hockey. Ding, the host's inheritance value has reached the upgrade requirements. The upgrade begins. The system's announcement sounded again. Chin Shi suddenly realized that his previous inheritance value had reached LV 6 1900 2000. After pseudo killing Solon and gaining 500 inheritance points, it was time to upgrade again. 
Your level is upgraded, you get 3 skill points, and your spiritual power limit is increased by 3 cards. You automatically master the Ninjutsu. Genjutsu Sharingan, because your Sharingan has reached 3 Magatama, this Ninjutsu has a certain chance to automatically upgrade to LV3. Opening square bracket dot 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 dot. Ding, chance trigger, Genjutsu Sharingan upgraded to LV3. Genjutsu Sharingan. Must rely on Sharingan to perform, can greatly exert the hypnotic ability of Sharingan, make the opponent see a terrifying illusion instantly, and the body completely loses freedom. Ninjutsu Evaluation. Although not as good as the Sukuyomi technique, it is also a powerful existence in the illusion. Genjutsu. It can be regarded as making up for one of my shortcomings. Sharingan is born with hypnotic ability, but this ability is not powerful when used directly. And when used with unique illusion techniques, the hypnotic ability can be maximized. Click on the System Properties interface. Host. Chin Shi. Inheritance name. Six Paths Obito Naruto Type. Inheritance Level. LV7 404 thousandths. Current Spiritual Power Value. 23 cards. Remaining Skill Points. 5. Unlocked Blood Limit. 3 Magatama Sharingan. Acquired Skills. This battle has improved my strength a lot. Sure enough, fighting is the fastest way to improve strength. Chin Shi closed the system interface with satisfaction. The Eye of Inheritance started again and continued to search for the remaining S-level inheritors. Hum, Chin Shi looked at the small map unfolded by the Eye of Inheritance and looked at the position of the S-level inheritor closest to him. There are two inheritors closest to him, but the strange thing is. It means that their light spots are very close to each other. Have these two formed an alliance? Chin Shi said to himself. It seems that we have to fight one against two. He smiled. Why should I be afraid? It's a good opportunity for me to test how much my strength has improved. After choosing the light spot, the eye of inheritance marked the direction and distance under the corner of his eye. Let's go. He put his Zanpakudo into the system storage space and put on the cat mask. Then he jumped onto the tree and shuttled through the woods like a ninja. Outside the forest, in front of the gate, another person was thrown out of the gate. Solon, with his upper body naked, got up from the ground, patted the dust on his body, and smiled. Yeah, I won't die after all. It's really a good place to practice life and death fighting. He recalled the battle with Chin Shi just now. It's really a blood-boiling battle. Another S-level inheritor was eliminated. Kai Quan's expression could no longer maintain the icy face at the beginning. What's going on? What's going on? It's only been a short time, less than seven hours. Look, how many have been eliminated? Do you still want shame? You don't even want shame. Did you have an internal conflict in the forest? Or did you accidentally stab yourself in the asshole with a knife and stab yourself to death? Kai Kwan's saliva flew, and he almost lost his mind. On the other hand, Suo Long laughed and looked indifferent. I'm not as skilled as others, so it's normal for me to be eliminated. But it's cool, it's really cool to fight, haha. -ha. He laughed loudly, completely ignoring teacher Kai Kwan's expression, and walked towards the rest area with a big laugh. While walking, he also bulged his chest muscles and biceps to show his muscular body to the teachers watching. Teacher Kai Kwan's face flushed, and he felt like his chest was being pressed by a huge stone weighing 10,000 pounds. He took a few deep breaths, then picked up his water cup and wanted to drink some water to calm down. Suddenly, the voice of the live broadcast robot rang in his ears. Ah, the first round is still going on, but we have another eliminated person. Ha, huh, why did I emphasize this? Because he is from the strongest class in our college, the supernova class. You heard it right, I used another. According to the statistics of this robot, four students from the supernova class have been eliminated, and there are only nine of them in total. All of them are S-level. It's unprecedented to eliminate four so early, guys. Teacher Kai Kwan, this is not a slap on the butts of those supernovas, this is clearly a slap on your face. Kai Kwan, who was drinking water, suddenly spit out a mouthful of water. There were also some red spots mixed in the water. In a hurry, he even spit out blood, watching his teacher vomit blood. As the principal, Bai Chi was drinking from a wine flask. Gulala, teacher Kai, don't be so sad. 
You have to think like this, although the supernova class has never eliminated so many students in the first round in history. But there is always a first time for everything. Today, didn't you do this first time? Gulala, Principal Bai laughed loudly, and didn't care if the wine spilled on his beard. Being complained by his leader, Kai Kwan couldn't hold his face anymore. He stood up suddenly, walked away from the Paradise Square quickly, and walked towards the rest area. High temperature air waves spread from him. Flames came out of his eyes, and his fists were clenched, almost magma. Anger has filled his chest. He is going to the rest area to find out. Who is it? Who is it? Defeated his proud supernova class students and made him so embarrassed here. After Kai Kwan left, Teacher Qingzi and Teacher Arnold laughed even more happily. Hot pot, beer, eating happily, just like a festival. Suddenly an owl flew over from a distance and landed on Qingzi's shoulder. The black beak approached Qingzi's ear and kept cooing. Qingzi listened with his ears tilted, his face becoming more and more solemn. The owl cooed for half a minute, and finally flapped its wings and flew away. After eating the tripe in the bowl in one bite, Qingzi took out a scroll from his pocket. Then he stood up and walked quickly to the principal. Principal, the investigation result of the secret letter scroll on the sculpture rock has been obtained. Principal Bai Chi, who was drinking, wiped his mouth and put down the wine pot. What do you mean? The monster attack on the Wanli Sunshine cruise ship was not an accidental monster invasion. It was planned by humans. The planner is Zhu. Hearing, Zhu, Principal Bai Chi frowned. Tell me your reasons. First of all, the sea area where the Wanli Sunshine broke out the monster crisis is not far from a small town called Linhai City. Lin Long was sent by the Academy to deal with the crimes of the Su family in Linhai City. He found that the Su family had contact with the members of the Pillars. Unfortunately, the father and daughter of the Su family were cast under a secret spell. After that, Lin Long took the father and daughter of the Su family to Push City, and the little girl of the Su family, Su Xiaoxiao, suddenly died. And coincidentally, the time of Su Xiaoxiao's death is the same as the time of the death of the monster Killian. Has the body of the girl named Su Xiaoxiao been dissected? The principal asked back. Qing Ji nodded. Teacher Qin Ming, the forensic doctor Qin Ming's successor, has gone there. The autopsy found. That girl has no heart. Principal Bai Chi frowned. It's the heart-sharing technique of the pillar organization. This organization not only mastered the secret method of sealing monsters in the human body in the Naruto world, but also created a monster container called Jinchuriki. It also further expanded on this basis and developed the heart-sharing technique. Qingzi nodded. The pillar organization transplanted the human heart into the monster through the heart-sharing technique. You can separate the Jinchuriki and the monster, allowing them to act in two places. But the life of the Jinchuriki is closely related to the monster. Once the monster dies, no matter where the Jinchuriki is, he will die immediately. In the attack on the Thousand Sunshine, Su Xiaoxiao was the Jinchuriki of the Great Hollow Girion. What the two were talking about was a secret letter scroll that suddenly appeared on the rock of the principal statue in the Grand Plaza a day ago. The first person to discover it was Qingzi, the teacher who patrolled the campus at night. This scroll records the incident of the hollow attacking humans on the Thousand Sunshine cruise ship. This did not surprise teacher Qingzi. After all, although the defensive formation is still working, it is not uncommon for monsters to accidentally invade Kyushu. In recent years, some wealthy people have raised monsters for fun and have caused many violent incidents. But the following description on the scroll made him feel nervous. The author of the scroll speculated that the virtual that attacked humans had changed. It evolved from an ordinary small virtual to a Killian with a one-star monster core. For 300 years, there has been an obvious pattern in the birth of monsters. Only a very small number of monsters have monster cores, and those monsters are called star monsters by humans. The monster core is like the heart of a human. Once it is broken, you can obtain the mysterious treasures and skills of the other world where the monster is. In addition, the monster core can greatly improve the strength of the monster. Among the monsters of the same level, the monster with a monster core is the king among them, and the existence of the same level is invincible. When a demon beast is born on the blue planet, whether it has a demon core or not is predetermined. So far, 
humans have not been able to understand it clearly. The secret of the origin of the demon core. But the author of the scroll said that the small hollow without a demon core evolved into a large hollow with a demon core, Jillian. Teacher Chingzi did not regard this statement as the nonsense of a fool. He chose to believe it. Because the Academy has been conducting similar investigations. They investigated several incidents of demon beasts injuring people across the country in recent years. It was found that when these out-of-control demon beasts died, humans died strangely. Just like the Jinchuriki in the Naruto world. After further investigation, all clues pointed to an emerging dark organization. Pillar. It is said that if a person who becomes a Jinchuriki is not strong enough, he will be assimilated by the monster, become violent, and his lifespan will be greatly shortened. Using a rich girl who has just inherited and has poor character as a Jinchuriki is clearly a waste. What exactly is the pillar organization trying to do with all its efforts? Principal Bai shook the wine in his hand, with a puzzled look on his face. Ching Ji looked at his principal and continued. I suspect that the pillars are doing experiments together. We all thought that the method of sharing hearts was just a secret method developed by the pillar organization to allow the human pillars and monsters to act separately. Now it seems that their purpose is likely to be more than that. Their real idea may be to turn the human heart into the monster's demon core. In several cases of Jinchuriki investigated by the Academy before, the monsters whose hearts were shared by the Jinchuriki also flashed a brief light of demon core. But before the demon core appeared, the monster itself quickly rotted, exploded, and disappeared. Many times, the monsters died before the Academy's people arrived at the scene. But in the Wanli Sunshine incident recorded in the scroll, the monster successfully condensed the demon core and evolved into a one star monster. Chingzi glanced at his principal, hesitating whether to continue. So, they succeeded. The principal snorted, using human hearts as the cores of monsters. The crazy organization of the pillars is full of lunatics. He was a little annoyed. Those monsters without cores were given hearts by using humans as containers. What on earth do these crazy people called the pillars want to do? Looking at his principal's irritated expression, Ching Ji also remained silent. After a while, he remembered something. Principal, who provided the secret letter. Are you sure you don't want to investigate? Don't investigate. Since they use the secret letter method, they don't want to reveal their identity. We should thank them. If they hadn't given us this secret letter scroll, we are still in the dark about Zhu S plot. Why are you still holding on to them? It doesn't make sense. Forget it. The principal waved his hand. As for the real source of the secret letter, it was placed on the principal's sculpture rock when Chin Shi reported on the first day. He intuitively felt that there were deep secrets to be excavated about the monster's condensation of the monster core. So he wrote it in the scroll. But he didn't want to expose himself too early. He had a system to develop, so it was better to keep a low profile. Quote dot 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 dot. Principal, there is one more thing. If we find out through this incident. Teacher Ching Ji spoke again. The Pillar, and, Hundred Demons Group, have cooperated. Principal Bai Chi's hand, which had just raised the wine barrel, suddenly stopped in the air. These two dark organizations can actually cooperate. The principal grabbed a handful of his beard, and his face was no longer relaxed. Tell me the reason. The Pillar, the Pillar of Jinchuriki, is a new dark organization that has emerged in recent years. It has few members, but each of them has extremely strong strength. Each member also has a powerful host monster. The Hundred Demons Group is a dark organization that has been lurking in Kyushu for many years. The leader's inheritance is Muzin in Demon Slayer. Relying on the inheritance of the Demon King, blood is spread everywhere, creating a huge army of hundreds of demons. It has been ranked first in the list of dangerous organizations in Kyushu for many years. The Pillar and Hundred Demons Group are the two dark organizations that are currently causing the most headaches for the Demon Hunting Academy. But based on previous struggle experience, these two dark organizations are very different in terms of organizational philosophy, modus operandi, and member styles. They are all very proud organizations. There is no precedent for cooperation. When investigating the attack of the monster on the Wanli Sunshine, we also searched the nearby waters. Chingzi said quickly, We found a yacht about 50 nautical miles away from the Wanli Sunshine. 
There was no one on the yacht, but we found out that the yacht belonged to the Yuan family's private yacht based on the barcode on the yacht. Yuan family. Whitebeard closed his eyes and thought about it. One of the nine major families, the Yuan family in Liangzhou. Qingzi nodded. That's them. When we contacted them, they said that when the Wanli Sunshine was attacked, Yuan Baiwen, the ninth young master of the Yuan family, was also on the cruise ship. Later, he used the universal capsule and jumped onto the yacht to barely escape. Later, the Yuan family's rescue helicopter arrived and took Yuan Baiwen away from that sea area. The above is what the Yuan family reported to us. Why, do you think they are suspected of false reporting? Principal Bai Chi narrowed his eyes. From the scene, they all said that there seemed to be no problem, and there were no obvious signs of fighting on the yacht. Ching Ji paused. But that's not the case. Among the investigation team sent by the academy, there is Mr. Doma, whose inheritance is Kamiju Tuma in the world of, a certain magical index. Mr. Doma's inheritance is a right hand called, Fantasy Breaker, that can invalidate any magic and skill effects. While investigating Yuan Baiwen's yacht abandoned at sea, Mr. Doma randomly touched the steering wheel in the control room, but a corpse unexpectedly appeared. A corpse with a face like a lizard man. DNA sequencing found that the owner of this corpse is named Maven, and his inheritance is the hunter world. The cause of death was a sneak attack from behind. Maven's inherited ability is to hold his breath, and he can activate the, God's alibi, that completely conceals his existence. After he was killed by the sneak attack, the ability was automatically activated to hide his existence. If it weren't for Mr. Dangma's good luck and accidentally used the inherited ability of, Fantasy Killer, to remove Maywin's concealment effect, we would have been fooled. After saying so much in one breath, Mr. Qingzi felt a little thirsty and picked up a bottle of Erguotu at the principal's feet. Just as he was about to open it and drink it, Principal Bai grabbed it and drank it all. Ah, he wiped his mouth happily. So, that Yuan Baiwen lied. At least he concealed part of the truth. The traces of fighting in the control room of the yacht were also deliberately handled. Quote. Qingzi smiled bitterly and continued to report to the leader. We analyzed Meiwen's wound and found that it was a common technique of the members of the Hundred Demons group. They used the blade made of flesh to pierce the heart from behind and died. The Pillar and the Hundred Demons group took action at the same time, which made the teachers of the investigation team alert. It happened that Lin Long also reported that the soul search of Su Beizang had a result. The Warden of the Push City is the Soul Lock Warden Thresh in the League of Legends world. After using the soul search method on Su Beizang, when he found that the Pillar member contacted him, Su Beizang also kept a watchful eye and secretly followed the member of the Pillar himself. It was also noticed that in addition to the members of the Pillar with water abilities, there was also an ugly middle-aged man with a hunched back beside her. Quote, Su Beizang judged that the middle-aged man was a member of the Hundred Ghosts group from the information that the middle-aged man ate people late at night. Therefore, based on the above two pieces of information, I judge that there is a great possibility of cooperation between Zhu and Hundred Ghosts group. Quote, Principal Bai Qi listened quietly to Teacher Qingzi's report. Two dark organizations that have nothing to do with each other have joined forces, and their intentions are not small. He murmured for a few seconds. There is still a problem with Yuan Baiwen. Send someone to conduct a secret investigation on him. I want to see what Zhu and Hundred Ghosts group are going to do. Teacher Qingzi nodded. Speaking of which, a ghost head spy of the Hundred Ghosts group has also entered our college. Although it is not certain who it is, according to the report of our spies in the Hundred Ghosts group. The ghost head is among this batch of freshmen. Quote, the principal sneered twice and looked at the forest in front of him, which was full of towering trees and shrouded in mist. Isn't this one of the reasons why we launched this freshman trial? Whatever they are up to, just act boldly. I want to see what tricks this ghost boy wants to play. Pay attention to the anomalies in the misty forest. Once that ghost boy makes a move, we will close the net. You dare to set your sights on my college, the hundred ghosts group, you are looking for death. Just when Ching Ji and Principal Bai Chi were talking in private. In the misty forest, Chin Chi hurried through the woods. After an hour, he stopped in front of a wide bridge. At both ends of the bridge, there was a bottomless abyss shrouded in mist. It seems that if you want to get across, you must walk on the bridge. 
Chin Shi looked at the wide bridge in front of him. There were no handrails, only a spacious bridge deck. But the entire bridge deck was made of a mutant plant. In Plants vs. Zombies, a plant designed with thorns as the prototype. A special plant that can cause damage to zombies that step on the bottom, ground thorns. This bridge is wide, but it hurts your feet. Looking at the ground thorns covering the entire bridge deck, Chin Shi thought about it. He remembered that he had played a game called Water Walking before he crossed over. Put the whole person in a transparent ball, and then the person pushes the ball in the ball and walks on the water. You can use this method. Chin Shi smiled and began to make seals with his hands. Ninjutsu, Sand Shield. Fine sand flew out of his storage space and slowly gathered around him to form a closed sand ball. You can't not see the road. Chin Shi continued to make seals. Ninjutsu, third eye. An eyeball made of sand floated next to the sand ball. Chin Shi covered his right eye and observed the surrounding scenery through the sand eyeball. Although in the water walk, people push the ball in the ball, but that's too troublesome. Chin Shi continued to perform ninjutsu. Ninjutsu, sand hand. Two hands formed by fine sand appeared in the air, pushing the sand ball slowly forward. The sand ball of the sand shield ninjutsu rolled onto the ground spikes. The strong defense made the ground spikes unable to pierce the shell of the sand ball at all, but the mass of the sand ball made the spikes flat. Get ground spike card 1. Obtained earth spike card 1. A sand hand flew up and picked up the cards that fell on the ground one by one. What a relaxing and enjoyable special terrain. The sand ball was pushed and rolled by another sand hand, and Chin Shi followed it inside the sand ball. And used the third eye to observe and maintain a stable forward direction. Suddenly, the sand ball stopped. It seems to have hit a hard guy. The eyeball made of fine sand looked down. It was found that it was a special ground spike that blocked the sand ball. This plant is all sharp steel, which is an enhanced variant of ground spikes, steel ground spikes. Compared with ordinary ground spikes, steel ground spikes are harder and more damaging. It looks like a tough one. Chin Shi put his hands on the inner shell of the sand ball. Just in time to try the power of the new skill. System, add some points to the armament hockey. Ding, you consume a skill point, and the development level of armament hockey is increased to LV2. Chin Shi growled, a black breath wrapped around his arm and passed through his hand to the outer shell of the sand ball. Not long after, the outer shell of the sand ball changed from the yellow color of sand to black. Under the effect of the hand of sand, the black sand ball continued to roll forward. Crack, crack, crack. The hard steel spikes began to collapse one by one under the crushing of the sand ball blessed by the armed color domineering. Obtained card 1. Obtained card 1. Five minutes later, Chin Shi crushed all the way to the bridgehead. It would be great if every terrain was as easy as this spike bridge. While sighing, he counted the spike cards in his hand. Chin Shi opened the system's task system. Two kinds of spikes, plus the several mushrooms killed before. The completion rate of the limited time task plant harvester has reached 26 30ths. Victory is in sight. Chin Shi shut down the system, and the Eye of Inheritance reminded him that he was not far from the target light spot. After continuing to shuttle through the dense forest for half an hour, he suddenly felt that the temperature seemed to have dropped a little. Why did I feel a little cold? He looked around, and the leaves of the trees were getting fewer and fewer, and some were even withered and yellow. It was like going from spring to autumn. Further ahead, the green was further reduced. Under the white snow, only snowflakes decorated the trees. Ha! After exhaling a breath of hot air, Chin Shi rubbed his hands and looked at the hill in front of him. The whole hill was dotted with white snow. There were not many trees on the hill, but they were tall and strong. It seems that we have arrived at the snowy forest. This secret realm is really magical, as if there are four seasons of spring, summer, autumn and winter. He jumped on the spot. With spiritual power running in the body, the inheritor's ability to resist the cold is far superior to that of ordinary people. The next target prompted by the eye of inheritance is on the mountain. Put on the cat face mask, Chin Shi stepped on the snow and ran up the mountain. When he reached the top of the mountain, there was a huge flat land. In the snow forest, a group of people were resting. Several students of B-level inheritance, and one S-level inheritance student. Strange, another S-level inheritance student went to the toilet. 
In the eye of inheritance, the distance between the two light spots was close, and it was obvious that another S-level inheritor was also nearby. Stop. A student in a yellow school uniform jumped down from the tree. He looked at Chin Shi with some disdain in his tone. Are you here to seek refuge with the eldest sister too? Seek refuge. Chin Shi counted the yellow school uniform students squatting on the snow in front of him, there were ten people. Behind them, a woman with flowing hair, tall figure, and proud breasts was sitting on a tree stump. A thick blanket was also spread on the stump. The blanket was exquisite and beautiful, and it was obvious that it was not an ordinary item. A student in yellow uniform was making a pot of tea with snow, and then served the tea to the girl. The woman lowered her head the whole time and blew the hot tea in her hand. I guess you also want to come and hug our thighs because you know that it is difficult for a person to survive in the forest. Indeed, with me and another S-level inheritor in charge, it is not difficult to survive in the forest until the later stage. But our alliance will not accept students from the Osiris Red Dormitory. There is no reason, because your inheritance is too low and too rubbish. She took a sip of tea slowly and smiled at Chin Shi. But mosquito meat is also meat. Since you are here, put down your plant card and you can leave. As soon as the woman finished speaking, the student in yellow uniform standing in front of Chin Shi began to yell. Did you hear that? Our eldest sister said that you red uniform students are too weak and don't deserve to join our alliance. Hand it over quickly, and then get out. As she said, she started to push and shove Chin Shi. Chin Shi smiled. What if I don't want to hand over the card? The yellow uniform student frowned. I say, are you stupid? There are so many of us. If you keep talking, we will bury you in the snow. You don't think our alliance only attacks mutant plants, do you? The principal and the others have said that as long as you can survive in this forest, there is no limit to the method. Anyway, you won't die if you kill people here. We don't mind sending you to the elimination zone. The man said, while taking out the weapon behind his back and reaching into Chin Shi's pocket with his other hand. Suddenly, the knife light flashed. One hand of the yellow uniform student flew up. Ah, the man was still surprised when his right hand was cut off. He retreated in pain after a while. But Chin Shi didn't give him a chance to retreat and took a step forward. Under the smiling expression of the cat mask, his zanpakuto was raised. The yellow uniform student who was about to pick his pocket turned into dust. You're right, even if I kill someone here, you won't die. Then I'll send you to the elimination zone. The elimination of a student in yellow uniform immediately alerted the others. The remaining nine students in yellow uniforms all rushed up and surrounded Chin Shi in the middle. The woman in mink clothes also stood up slowly. You, dare to attack. She looked at Chin Shi with hostility in her eyes, but also a little fear. Originally thought that an Osiris Red student came and could be fleeced. But the speed and accuracy of Chin Shi's swinging of his Zanpakuto just now at least showed that his swordsmanship had reached a certain level. Bah, bad luck, and I met a tough guy. The woman frowned and touched the hair on her forehead with her right hand, revealing a blue hairpin with six petals. Through the cat-faced mask, Chin Shi stared at the woman's hairpin. After Pei Bi Yula introduced him in the dormitory, he already knew the name of the woman in front of him. Jing Ziyi, her parents are the most famous fashion designers in Kyushu. And her inheritance is S-level, Inoue Orihime in the world of Death God. That six-petal hairpin is the key to activate her ability, Shield Shun Six Flowers. Jing Ziyi, I don't want to do meaningless killing. Since you are the big sister of these people, it's easy to deal with. Those students in yellow school uniforms are watching, how about you and I duel one-on-one? -on -one? Chin Shi's voice came from the mask. Jing Ziyi stroked her hairpin and rolled her eyes. She raised the corners of her mouth and then laughed. You, the masked man, are powerful, but you are a brainless person. She licked her lips. I have nine men under my command, and you alone, what qualifications do you have to fight me one-on-one? -on -one? Even if you are scared now and kneel down to admit defeat, I will not let you go. As she said, she waved her hand. All of you come at me. After receiving the order from the big sister, the nine students in yellow school uniforms twisted their arms and surrounded Chin Shi with a sinister smile. Alas, Chin Shi shook his head. I tried to persuade you with kind words, but you thought I was afraid. He quickly formed seals with both hands. 
Cho Shu Chen Zi Shu Hai Si Yin. Ninjutsu, Shadow Clone Technique. Dust rose, and in an instant, five Chin Shi appeared in the same place. The sudden increase in the number of people made the nine yellow uniformed students who were planning to besiege them stunned. The advantage in numbers was greatly reduced, and their steps were a little hesitant. What are you waiting for? Hurry up! Inoue Orihime's inheritance classmate Jing roared behind them. That kind of clone trick will only make each clone very weak. He is no longer a threat now, hurry up! After receiving the reminder from the big sister, the nine yellow uniformed students regained confidence in their eyes. They rushed towards the five Chin Shi together. Each clone is very weak, right? Under the cat-faced mask, Chin Shi smiled slightly. The five clones, including the original body, quickly formed seals. Z, Cho, Shu, Wu, Shen, Hai, Yin. Fire escape, great fireball technique. Spiritual power gathered in Chin Shi's throat, and a huge fireball spurted out of his mouth. Five fierce fireballs directly engulfed the five yellow school uniform students who came forward. Ah, under the roasting of the fireball, the five students struggled desperately and rolled on the ground. After a moment, the five of them turned into dust and were eliminated. The tragic situation made the other four students stunned. Is he, a ghost? Staring at the strange mask with a smiling expression on Chin Shi's face, the four living students were even more frightened. I don't know who started it, and the four students all turned around and ran back crying and shouting. Chin Shi didn't chase them. The yellow school uniform students were all A-level inheritors, and there would be no reward even if they were killed. He didn't want to waste his spiritual power anymore. Chin Shi looked at the S-level female student hiding behind the yellow school uniform with a livid face. I told you, there is no need for those A-level students to make unnecessary sacrifices. Look, now it's just you and me again. So now, shall we start the second round? As soon as he finished speaking, Chin Shi raised his Zanpakuto and exerted force with his feet. The two clones disappeared with a touch, and the remaining three clones launched slashes from the top, left, and right at the same time. Kendo Ninjutsu, Three Day Moon Dance Looking at Chin Shi's fast-moving figure, the girl Jing Zi gritted her teeth and took off her six-petal hairpin. Show up, my servants. I refuse. The light flashed, and the hairpin in her hand suddenly disappeared, turning into six colors flying in the sky, like a paper airplane. Hinokiku, Mei Yan, Lily, protect me, three, Tenjutsu shield. Following her command, blue, white, and rose-red flying objects flew over and blocked her in a triangle. An orange-yellow triangular light shield appeared in front of Jing Ziyi, protecting her firmly behind it. Chin Shi's Zanpakudo chopped on the light shield, making a sound of a knife chopping metal and stone. Good defense. All the clones disappeared, and Chin Shi stood still. Is this the ability described by the death god Aizen to completely invade the realm of God? Quote. Orihime Inoue, one of the main characters in the world of Bleach. Although she is only an auxiliary character in the whole play, she has the most buggy ability of the main characters. Defense, treatment, repair. These auxiliary functions seem to be Orihime's abilities, but this is just appearance. Her real ability is to reject everything. Reject the opponent's attack, reject the injuries on the body, and even reject death. As long as the development level is high enough and the spiritual power is enough, almost everything can be done. But your current development level is not enough. Let me try the quality of your three-day shield. Chin Shi clenched his right wrist. Suddenly, lightning gathered and thousands of birds sang. Thunder escape, thousands of birds. Chin Shi stepped back, raised his right hand, and stabbed at the three-day shield. Kala, quote, like glass shattering, the three-day's shield was first torn open with a crack. Then the crack continued to expand, and the entire light shield collapsed. But with the disappearance of the three days shield, the lightning in Chin Shi's hand also disappeared. Even the early three days shield can defend against overly powerful attacks at least once. But what can you do next? Chin Shi smiled slightly, and the lightning in his hand that had already dispersed suddenly started again. Chidori, come again. The girl's face was horrified, as if she was about to face death. But if you look closely, you can see that under the girl's fear, there is a hint of playfulness in her eyes. But Chin Shi's Chidori did not stab at her. Instead, he bent his legs and then jumped up suddenly. 
Above his head, a huge rock suddenly fell. The falling rock was like a meteor. Chidori, break it for me. Quote, Chin Shi growled, his palm acting as a knife. The lightning and the rock collided. The rock collapsed instantly, turning into countless pieces of rubble and falling down. You finally made a move. Chin Shi turned around slowly. Not far behind him, stood a young man in a blue school uniform with his eyes closed. He held a cane-like knife in his hand, facing the direction of Chin Shi. The mantis stalks the cicada, while the oriole waits behind. Is this your strategy? Chin Shi waved his zanpakudo, and suddenly took out a card with a long sword on it in his left hand. This is the clo card, sword. Even if it's one against two, I'm still a hunter. You two, you're surrounded by me. Chin Shi threw out the card. The clo card sword spun in the air, then emitted a faint light and turned into a slender white sword. Three Magatama appeared in Chin Shi's eye sockets. Three Magatama Sharingan, open. Standing between two S-level powerful enemies, Chin Shi was not at all flustered. He glanced at Jing Ziyi not far away. Then he turned his head and looked at the blind boy holding a cane knife on the other side. I know your name, Yisheng, a born blind boy, but with a super strong perception of external objects. The white long sword floated beside Chin Shi, but did not attack immediately. Your inheritance is S-level, the Navy Admiral codenamed, Fujitora, in the world of One Piece. He is a strong man with excellent ability and swordsmanship. I don't know how much of his skills you have inherited. Let me test your level. Chin Shi, wearing a cat-faced mask, held the knife in both hands, and the white long sword flew around him. One knife and one sword, stabbing at the target in front of him. Dang dang dang. Although he was blind, the blind boy seemed to be able to see. He accurately blocked Chin Shi's stormy attack. On the other side, Jing Ziyi, a busty girl, was squinting her eyes, using her fingers as guns, aiming at Chin Shi. You dare to turn your back on me, and you don't take me seriously. She clenched her teeth. I'll let you taste my power. Her skill, Shield Shun Liuhua, is not only auxiliary skills such as treatment and defense. There is also a powerful skill, GUTN Zon Shield. This is an attack technique. By rejecting the material combination of inside and outside the shield, the material object is separated, just like a sharp blade cutting the material. From the effect point of view, it is to emit a light blade to cut the opponent in half. But the use of GUTN Zon Shield needs to be applied to Chun Gui in Shield Chun Liuhua. Once the attack fails, Chun Gui will be injured and will not be able to use the Lonely Shield again for a short time. So for Jing Ziyi, she only has one chance. She needs to aim well and wait for the opportunity. But this masked man keeps moving. Why can't he just stop there and let my Lonely Shield cut him off? Jing Ziyi was a little irritated, and the tense fighting atmosphere made her breathing faster. Her proud chest rose and fell like waves. On the other side, the blind boy Yisheng was still fighting with Chin Shi. He quickly waved the cane knife in his hand, and took on dozens of moves from the opponent with only the senses of sound, smell, etc. But a cane knife, against Chin Shi's knife and sword. It was already quite strenuous. In addition, Chin Shi used the clo card sword, and temporarily had a great level of swordsmanship. Not long after, the blind boy Yisheng was forced to retreat continuously, and there were dangers everywhere. Ha! He leapt back a step and stabbed his staff sword into the ground. Hell Brigade, five times gravity. Chin Shi, who was about to chase, suddenly felt a strong force coming. His body fell down suddenly. No, it's the power of the heavy fruit. Chin Shi's face showed a trace of panic. The blind boy Yisheng inherited the power of the Admiral Fujitora in one piece. Fujitora, whose real name is Yisheng, is one of the admirals of the headquarters, with the highest combat power in the navy headquarters in the one piece world. He was originally an unknown civilian master. Two years after the war at the top, he became a high-ranking person in the one piece plane through the navy's world recruitment. He has excellent swordsmanship and a high degree of domineering development, but the most powerful thing about him is his fruit ability. The Devil Fruit Parahuman System, Heavy Fruit. The user can manipulate the strength and direction of gravity at will. It can not only raise gravity to a high altitude far above the ground, drop meteorites with amazing power, but also make objects float without weight. 
The rock that attacked Qin Shi before was attracted from a higher place on the snow mountain by his ability. Under the effect of the heavy fruit, the gravity around Qin Shi increased four times. The whole person suddenly fell to the ground. Ha ha, the opportunity has come. Fifty meters behind Qin Shi, Jing Zi, who had been aiming, quickly chanted a spell. Chun Gui, use Gutian Zan shield. I refuse. This is the release language of shield Shun Liu who is skill. Although it is a bit awkward, the skill cannot be used without shouting. Chun Gui, a small flying man wearing a black tights, turned into a light blade and slashed in the direction Jing Zi aimed. Boom, the light blade hit Qin Shi, who was lying on the ground, and the snow on the ground splashed and a burst of water vapor rose. Success. That masked man in the red school uniform can actually give an S-level student like me a kind of palpitation. And I don't know why, I actually think this strange masked man is so attractive. What a dangerous thought. But fortunately, I finally killed him. Jing Zi smiled, but a roar suddenly came from Qin Shi who was lying on the ground. Zi, what are you doing? Why are you attacking me? Jing Zi was stunned. What she saw was Qin Shi lying on the ground, split in half. But the shouting sounded like the voice of her temporary partner Yisheng. She rubbed her eyes in confusion and looked forward again. There was no Qin Shi in front of her. There was only a blind boy half crouching on the ground with a sword in his hand, covered in blood. How? Dot how could it be? Quote, the partner in front of him had a hideous wound on his chest. It was caused by his own lonely sky slash shield. Jing Zi took a few steps back in disbelief. I clearly, attacked the masked man. Why was it you who was injured? Then, where is the masked man? The injured blind boy not far away spat out a mouthful of blood. What are you talking about? The masked man has always been behind you. Jing Zi turned his head sharply and faced Qin Shi's cat-faced mask. The cat-faced mask had a smiling expression, which looked extremely strange at the moment. Are you finally awake? Qin Shi stretched his waist, and the three Magatama slowly turned in his eye sockets. He took a few steps back and distanced himself from the woman. But it's too late, big-breasted beauty, why don't you, look down at your feet? Quote. Jing Zi looked up at the ground. On the ground, there were ten talismans with the word, explosion, on them. When she looked down at them, the detonating talismans fluttered and stuck to the girl's feet. It's time to say goodbye. Under the cat-faced mask, Qin Shi smiled slightly. With this explosion power, even if you have the repair technique Double Heaven Return Shield, it will be too late to save you. He put his hands in a seal. Ninjutsu, detonate the flame formation. All the detonating talismans began to ignite, and then there was a loud bang. Boom, the blood-stained snowflakes flew into the air and then scattered all over the ground. S-level inheritor, Jing Ziyi, eliminated. Ziyi. Hearing the loud explosion, the blind boy Yisheng was furious. He knew that his beautiful partner had already returned to the forest and was eliminated. Why? Dot why couldn't Zi even notice you were beside him, and attacked me like a possessed person? He roared and asked his own question. Qin Shi smiled slightly. He naturally wouldn't explain to the other party. Jing Zi's various abnormal behaviors were because he was in his illusion. A unique illusion that can only be performed with the Sharingan, Illusion Sharingan. Just when Qin Shi was surrounded by two people and took a deep look at Jing Zi with the three Magatama Sharingan. The other party was in his illusion. In the illusion set by Qin Shi, Jing Zi mistakenly thought that Qin Shi was fighting with his partner Yisheng. It made her think that Qin Shi was restrained by Yisheng, revealing an obvious flaw, giving her the opportunity to use the Lonely Shield. But unfortunately, everything was an illusion. The real Qin Shi had quietly come to her side and set up a detonation array at her feet. If you weren't blind, you would have been hard to escape the illusion of my Sharingan. Qin Shi looked at the blind boy who was bleeding not far away and shook his head. You don't have to be angry, because with your strength, you are not my opponent. Whether I use illusion or not, the result will not change. What did you say? The blind boy stood up with all his strength. He thought that the other party must have used some invisible means to confuse Jing Zi. Otherwise, with the strength of the 2S level inheritors, how could they not take down the masked man of B-level inheritance mentioned by Jing Zi? Do you think you can beat me if I'm injured? 
The blind boy drew out his staff knife and waved it with all his strength. You're wrong, Chin Shi said coldly. I mean, even if you are not injured, you are no match for me. He waved his left hand. The sword Klo card transformed into a white long sword and stabbed at the opponent with a whistle. Dare to underestimate me, my sword skills have reached the level of LV2. The blind boy growled and raised his staff sword. He fought with the white flying sword that suddenly attacked. Gravity Sword Tiger. A unique breath suddenly entangled the blind boy's staff sword. The staff sword and the flying sword transformed by the cloak card collided, and it was like being hit by a huge truck. Half of the sword body was stuck in the snow. Is this one of Fujitora's special skills in the pirate world, Gravity Sword Tiger? Not far away, Chin Shi looked at the blind boy's battle. Gravity Blade Tiger. Accumulate gravity on the blade and swing it. In the anime, Fujitora can release huge lateral gravity to the trajectory of the swing, crushing and destroying everything in front of him. Even Zhao Shan can be blown away by the huge wind pressure generated by the gravity on his staff sword. What a pity, tisk tisk, in your hands, it just makes the blade in your hand heavier and launches an unexpected attack on others. He commented meticulously, as if the long sword that was smashed into the snow was the enemy's. You who only know how to talk big, your sword has been knocked away by me, what other moves do you have? The blind boy was holding the staff sword and was about to rush towards Chin Shi. You still don't understand the wonderful use of flying swords. Chin Shi shook his head, put his zanpakudo on his waist, and made a gesture of drawing the sword. I'm on the verge of victory. You'll be defeated by me in the next strike. What? Just as the blind boy was about to scold the other party, his nose suddenly twitched twice. His sensitive sense of smell allowed him to smell a special smell. It was like the smell of gunpowder. The magic of the flying sword is that it is far enough away from me to be used as a bomber. Chin Shi growled, explode, half of the sword was stuck in the snow, and three detonating talismans were tied to the hilt. The detonating talismans were ignited, and an explosion occurred after a short time. Not good. The blind boy's sensitive sense of smell still allowed him to detect the other party's blasting method. He turned around and ran back. But just as he took a step, the detonating talisman on the flying sword behind him was activated. The explosion occurred. Ah! The strong explosion caused the blind boy to be more seriously injured, but he was a little away after all. The explosion did not eliminate him directly. However, the shock wave caused by the explosion still made him tilt and almost lose his balance. For the real swordsman for a master, one flaw is enough to take your life. The five fingers of Chin Shi's right hand holding his Zanpakuto suddenly turned white, and thin blood vessels were faintly visible. This is a sign of the fingers exerting force. He lowered his head, sank his body, and leaned back on one foot, posing a running posture. He held the handle of his Zanpakuto tightly with his right hand and suddenly pulled it out. Ito Ryu I I Shishish. The blade flashed. Chin Shi, who was 50 meters away, was in front of the blind boy in an instant. His Zanpakuto moved forward, maintaining a slashing posture. There was a touch of blood red on the silver blade. The blind boy looked at the masked man in front of him in disbelief. A red line appeared on his neck. What a fast knife. Quote, he covered his neck and fell to the ground. After a while, the body of the blind boy turned into dust and disappeared into the air. S-level inheritor, Yisheng, eliminated. Double kill. Chin Shi wiped the blood off his Zanpakuto with snow. Zoro's skills are not only powerful, but also handsome. Quote. It's a pity that I can only get one move from that Sauron inheritor. It would be great if I could get one move every time I kill him. He sighed and put the knife back into the system space. It is detected that the host defeated the S-level inheritor Jing Ziyi. The opponent died in the secret realm, but the real body did not die. It was determined to be a false kill. You get experience points plus 500 and skill points too. It is detected that the host defeated the S-level inheritor Yisheng. The opponent died in the secret realm, but the real body did not die. It was determined to be a false kill. You get experience points plus 500 and skill points too. Two system rewards, which one does the host want to open first? Chin Shi thought about it. First, Jing Ziyi's one, one by one in the order of killing. Quote, 
expanding reward options for killing, pseudo killing, reduced rewards, Jing Zi. You can choose a reward from the following options. O1. Spiritual Power Gift. You kill, pseudo killing, reduced rewards, S level inheritor Jing Zi and permanently obtain 1 30th. The ratio changes randomly between 1 10th, 1 20th, and 1 30th of her spiritual power. O2. None. What? What? Just this one. Looking at the reward options provided by the system, Chin Shi was stunned. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.